I'm just going through it right now. And she's just horny. Having regrets? Would I be like to say so if I did? I mean, not like I got a choice. Hi, my name is Click, and welcome to the Coffin of Andy and Lele Chapter 2. We've played Chapter 1 in the channel, but if you want a quick sum up, in this game, we play as Lele, who's Andy's sister, and is also in love with him. She's kind of a psychopath. I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, she killed his girlfriend when they were in middle school, and she's been obsessed with him ever since. And they were in isolation because of a disease that has been spreading in their building. And what happened last episode is that we killed our neighbor who was doing a satanic ritual ate him because we were basically starving because they wouldn't give us food in the apartment complex where we were being isolated and after that we managed to summon a demon i'm pretty sure to kill the security guards and that's how we escaped the building and now we're gonna see what's going on as we're on the run because we basically killed everyone in that building if i'm honest let's just get right into it episode two graves you're finishing up what's left of your lunch. The consequences of your actions have yet to catch up with you, which is nice. There's nothing interesting in the paper, right? I'm not done reading. It's been a week. The odds that there is something now are non-existent. So let me check. Ah, oh, I'm bored. How much longer can we stay here anyway? We're almost out of money. Technically, I have money. I just can't use it without giving away where I am to the bank. So no money then. I mean, yeah, pretty much. You guys, you guys just don't have money then if you cannot use it. What's the point? And I don't get why they want to check my ID for every fucking thing. I mean, it's the bank. Like, goddamn, I just want to stay at a hotel. What do you need to know who I am? I'm paying up front, aren't I? So it's not like I'll bail out on them. Boohoo, the most Hotel is just fine too. It's really not. I swear I heard gunshots last night. I mean, you guys have been through wars. You guys killed with demons. I'm pretty sure you guys have a gun too from the security guard. Or was that you? just you? I haven't shot anything. See, they do have a gun. Yet. Ah! What? I think I left my gun back in the room. What? In the apartment? I thought you had it. I really wish you'd be less nonchalant about everything all the time. Oh, she left it at the motel. Hey, now we can't be constantly shitting ourselves over every little thing. True, let's just get back to the motel before someone breaks in and steals the damn thing. All right, let's go get the thing. The gun. How old are we? I'm gonna guess 18. Are you looking for something specific? Nah, just window shopping. Oh, in that case, my interest in leaving me the fuck alone? Okay, that's cool. I'll leave you the fuck alone. What a nice shop lady. Love the customer service here. Five stars. There's a bunch of call girl ads stuck to the wall. Oh my, maybe I should leave my number here. Absolutely not. What? We need the cash and it would be tax free to boot. See another world and I'll backhand you. Sheesh, don't you take a job, jackass. Don't you make a joke, dumbass. There's so out there that I can't tell whether you're being serious or not. I'm obviously not being serious. We don't even have a phone right now. And weren't you honest to God backhand me just like that? Well, not right here anyway. Wow, okay. White beater. <laughs> you guys creep me out. I forgot about this. I forgot about this part about this game. They just creep me out. Oh, don't say that. It's solely towards you, honestly. Gee, thanks. So are you guys in a relationship now? And up for a coffee shop. It is difficult to imagine the aroma of a warm cup of coffee with trash riding right next to you. Fair enough. The hospital? Is this a motel? Are you tired of living? In course, Dad. Ask your doctor if euthanasia is right for you. Honestly? A soft drink ad. There are free new and exciting flavors. Let me the time only. Try them now or miss out forever. Ooh, caramelized apple and cinnamon. I want to try that. We can't afford any nonsense right now. Oh, come on. It's just a couple of bucks. I mean, you, you guys are broke. You can't have that or you can't have dinner. It's up to you. Ah, oh, this sucks. It's limited time too. The park is the, that way, but there's nothing interesting there at this hour. Okay, got it. Oh, right. I forgot our parents left us too, right? Don't. Tell me it's my own choice whether I want dinner or soda. Well, I lied. Fuck your soda. Up yours, Andrew. What do I even put up with you for? Ask myself that every day. Anyway, we're not wasting money on this and that's final. Um, and then there are also we... Everyone was labeled per blood type on the apartment complex that we were trapped in. This is the room you're staying at. And thank God for that. I put your stench wafts from within. Okay. And this is our room, I'm guessing? Was there a bra on the floor? That our bra? Andrew has been hoarding newspapers ever since you arrived. It was just empty, except for... Reclaim your gun! Noise! So it's not really yours anyway, but whatever. The warden's gun is yours now. I mean, the warden's dead, so he's not gonna miss it. There's an article about a chemical leak in some city you've never been to. The article details instructions for people in the area to stay home and to seal their windows. As more workers will be sent to rescue people block by block. Interesting. I suppose I should throw this in the washer while I still can. Hey, get your fat ass out the way. Ass? I think you meant my awesome fat tits, you cocksucker. Move, you cow. Whatever, wonker. You guys love each other, huh? Hey, you. Aren't you tired of drinking the same old water every day? Yeah, it's so wet. Have you tried Toxic Soda? It's water, but worse. Now in three new flavors. Awful, gross, and nasty. I want to try nasty. Try them today. Mm -mm. 
Mmm, taxi soda tastes like life. I don't know why I'm drinking this. I want some taxi soda. Andy, can you grab me some taxi soda? No, no, I'm trying to catch the news. That's not the news. That's a taxi soda ad. There isn't going to be anything about us in there, no matter how many times you check. Whatever, did you find the gun yet? Also, pack your things. We have to leave in the morning. To be from a new day. From a few days ago, there's nothing worth while we're on it. The paper isn't even comfortable enough to wipe your ass with. All in all, it is a total waste of money. Okay. There's no pillow. If you to insist on getting a room with two separate beds, only to then have a panic attack every other night. But we've been sleeping together. I see. She loves that. I mean, wash her clothes. You put the laundry in the washer. How did you guys take clothes? We didn't pack before leaving the apartment complex. Okay, and I think I'm done. Maybe. Hold on, you're welcome. Great, thanks. I really am such a sweetheart. You're so damn lucky to have me. I actually despise her. She's so annoying. I'm sorry. I know there's people that like her. She, I feel like she's so annoying. Yeah, yeah. I cook and I clean and I'm a piece on the ice. Meanwhile, what do you do? Watch TV all day like a slob. Knock it off. You're not going to be in the news. And the is, is he about to be on the news? Is he just going to not show up? <laughs> oh, did he, did he not want to be called Andy anymore? I should have known. Ooh, what are you going to do about it, Andy? Gonna chuck me out again, are you? Are you sure like that? Do you want me to? Oh, come on, I'm kidding. It's only good fun. Oh, I thought we were fine. We are, I'm just messing around. It's just a nickname, get over yourself. It's the one thing I asked of you. And it's symbolic, dumbass. Join your romanticism, shove it up your ass. I don't know what I was expecting. Listen, I'm behaving, what more do you want? I'm being so good to you. Are you? Because I'm getting the opposite impression here. Yeah, yeah, you think I'm so awful, huh? Too bad Ashley's the one with the gun. You wanna see what it's like when I actually misbehave? She's so annoying. I could be so much worse. Should I show you just how awful I really am? Go for it, though. You are going to find me a lot less accommodating than Andy. I know it's some less important news. Is it gonna be them? One of the quarantined apartments has had a bit of a situation. I think Mayor just a fire that burned the whole place down. Everybody died. Yes, everybody. A representative of the water company is here with us today. So anything you'd like to add? Yes, my deepest condolences to the family members of the deceased. This apartment was most definitely not a whole mismanaged mess better brand to the ground therefore it is so sad that this happened with that sadness we recommend you try our toxic soda we just rolled out three new and exciting flavors <laughs> nice excuse me sir something seems to be going wrong with your microphone i'm sure you mean to say to drink our trusty bubbly poply these are great names for sodas which happen to be our sponsor and it doesn't even make your organs bleed out of your ass unlike some alternatives it makes your bleed out of your ass does it give you hemorrhoids anyways that was all for now tune in again later for more wholesome news to cheer up your Day. That was our apartment, wasn't it? Was being the correct tense indeed. Did I leave the oven on? It said everybody died. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Um, they must think we died too, and all the evidence of our escapades, let's say, has been incinerated. Honestly, that's kind of lucky. I wonder about that. <laughs> I tell you it'll all work out. But still, this was homeless and just about penniless. Whatever, things are clearly going to sort themselves out. I'm gonna get some sleep. Good night. Oh, is it because we left the candles on <laughs> on the burrito circle? I'm gonna stay up a bit longer. Maybe the late night news will have more information on the fire. Sit yourself. Good night, Andy. I'm gonna go to sleep on this bed. Nope. Okay. As you showed, you fall asleep without a care in the world. Oh. What's happening? Someone has entered the room. Is that the cultist that we killed? Oh. Did he just kill us? <gasps> Was that a nightmare? Andy, I'm scared. Wake up. We've got to go. Oh? Uh, mm hmm? Oh, it's the, the thing. Right. When we talk to the demon, he gives like a thing that it would help us predict the future, right? Get up. I had a vision. We're about to get killed. We've got to go now. Should we get our things? No? He's going away? Let's go, Andy, go! So where are we going to the park? Guess not. Are we stealing a car? Going this way? So, wanna stay here and see if the killer actually shows up? And what did I do to the surf to get murdered in my sleep for anyway? That'd be a bit risky staying here. You don't know which direction they came from, right? Assuming anyone shows up anyway. They will, I'm sure. So you stand there and wait. And wait. And wait. Andrew lights up his fourth cigarette. Another one? Way to blow money. Yeah, how the hell are you getting cigarettes from and I cannot get my damn soda? Blow it out your ass, I'm bored and cold. You're probably cold because that crap messes up with your blood circulation. Okay, mom. Makes you impotent too, by the way. Didn't sound like I'd be meeting any girls anytime soon anyway. <gasps> Excuse me? I thought you guys were together. What's stopping you? He's so disgusted by her. Honestly, same. I don't want them to be together. I'm gonna keep it real. I, I don't ship them at all. I thought it last game ended with Kim saying, asking her to call him Andrew because that way he would like disconnect her as her sister or something like that. All right, I said enough. Really? So, I, I mean, Lele has killed people, has been a cannibal. She freaking summoned that demon, but she draws the line at cigarettes. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> Quiet, you. I thought we were hiding. <gasps> it's the killer. Monka. 
Oh, it's a cultist. Lucky for you, it wasn't the guy who you're expecting to come slit your throat. I thought it was the same guy. Though he sure looked familiar anyway. Is it the cultist that we killed? Didn't we eat that guy? But don't say that out loud. Oh, sorry. Didn't we chop that guy up and store him in the freezer? <laughs> Ashley, come on. <laughs> Seriously, though, I guess there's more from where he came from. Or do you suppose he was off too? Why? A sex and drugs palace with demons? Duh, why are you asking me? Whatever, shall we follow him? But I'm trying to see if my vision comes true or not. Not like we both have to be there here. We really don't want to stand here alone in the middle of the night. But you're also curious about what this cultist lookalike is about up to. Ah, oh, fine, you go. But come back soon. I'm pretty sure we never played as Andrew in the first game, no? Oh, good. You're not going after all. What? I am just... Do you see which way he went? Into the alley, right? Yeah, yeah. Be right back, Lele. And why do they call you Lele if your name's Ashley? Wouldn't it just be Lily? Ah, uh, you know what? Never mind. Wait, hold the door, please. Run, sucker, run. The elevator leaves you for the further cultist can board. Ha! <laughs> Of course, you brats. Okay. By the way, maybe you start eating out of here once your money runs out. I finally test on its lock. Cabo is like apparently approved by the devil to in the <laughs> if the graffiti on the wall has anything to go by. <laughs> Let's go for a passcode. Okay. So I need a passcode. Um. Oh, I see. Two unemployment office. One blank. Bob S six F U. Is that the passcode? Boy, these are all numbers. Damn. Oh wait, is it just six six six? Am I dumb? <laughs> of course. I don't know why I even entertained the idea of it being anything else. Yeah, that was pretty obvious, huh? Who are these guys? Why are you guys in color? Huh? What? Who let you in? Sorry, I was not supposed to be here. This is a private event. Shoo, shoo. Is this a sex and demons party? Isn't this a sex and demons party? What? what? I hope not. My wife would kill me. What the hell are you talking about? There's no such thing. I do have a wife. <laughs> you don't even have a wife, bro. No, there's no demon sex party. Oh, well, just trigger a demon summoning then? I mean, that's what I was told, but... Listen, who the hell invited you? You're not even dressed properly. Right, sorry, I didn't know there was a dress code. I don't know who told you about today, but you can go kick rocks. All right, I'll go. No harm done. Do have to steal that costume from the shop i can't believe this they literally invite anyone these days huh that just means six eyes is getting popular we should be glad that's how we're called six eyes i'm guessing our neighbor was part of this guy's little club we're pretty far from home though maybe they get out of multiple locations can these guys actually summon demons though and our neighbor managed it eventually but you said you should get inside somehow and find out i mean if that guy did it and we did it. I feel like they also have done it. No? See, there's like a cult outfit here. Now you know where all the cults get extremely fashionable robes. So the shop is closed and you can buy one right now. Break a window? No? Hey, Lay, I need a costume. All done? Just checking to see if you're dead yet. No one has showed up. Maybe it was a vision from some other night. So if we're leaving this morning, how could that be? Some nightmares are just that. I don't have nightmares. It was the first one ever. What? Really? I have nothing but nightmares. Either way, I'm all good. Go back to sleep on the cultists. I don't know how to get in though. They told me to get lost. Ah, I need a smoke. But I have a Somewhere else. I've had enough of your secondhand smoke for tonight. So we need to get the robe. I mean, the visions are gonna come true for in the room because the vision was that we got murdered in the room. Do I get a soda? Amongst the other crap, the vending machine offers caramel, apple, and cinnamon soda. You wonder if you should buy Ashley some after all. No, I don't like her. And we're gonna need that money anyway. So I get something from here. Oh yeah, you totally have nightmares as often as you claim. The woman was too stunned to sleep. Are we lying just so we can sleep with her? You can hope there'll be something useful in these papers, but they're nothing. It never is. Or are we just being a tsundere? Or are we just acting to all tough, but we actually do like her? That makes sense, wouldn't it? Just to gross me out. Lele, I can't find how to get in here. Ah, what do I care what those clowns are up to anyway? You decide that if a way forward doesn't strike you before you're done with your smoke, you'll call it quits. And then just as you bring your smoke out, there's a key under the cigarette butt jar. But employee key. Nice! We're gonna steal the robe. Those cakes? The top is full of cake. The lower has some paper cups. Why don't we steal one? I want cake. There's crumbled note in the trash. It reads, Stop eating my lunch, you animals! Someone has left a note. It reads, To whomever ate my casserole will have your head on a plate at the office life. Same shit, different toilet. Why are we not stealing a cake then? The drabest set of drapery you have ever laid your eyes on. Okay. I feel like they wouldn't notice if we stole some cake. Because it's nothing worth falling inside. But it's all rock without a swipe tag. We need a swipe tag. Which is quite the pickle. The car seat plates full of cake and a coffee dispenser. What's with the cake? Is it a bit late for a work meeting? I mean, maybe it's for the cult meeting. Oh, the elevator's coming up. <laughs> Alright. Ah, oh, he's going to take two trips. Rumbling as he goes, the cult takes one of the carts down the elevator with him. Are we gonna hide in the car? It's a classic. Remove paper cups from the cart. You can certainly squeeze yourself into the cart now, but you'd also be seen instantly. Are we gonna do it right as he comes in? Or are we gonna use the curtains? Nice. You wrap yourself in the curtain like a ghost and stuff yourself inside the cart. Yeah, not suspicious at all. Like that, that looks totally normal. You can see he hastily shoves a piece of cake into his mouth. Nice. Oh, Dark Lord, that is good. Cuts into the elevator. Oh, is this car so much heavier than the other? Yes. 
could it be? The weight of my sins? That's exactly it. He should just start talking. He'll be like, ooh. No. Yo, this is a party up in here. What the heck? Okay, okay. Be cool. No one has to know. No one has to know that I'm a sinner in a devil's party. It's between me and the devil. Just act normal. D did I miss it? Shh. Are we summoning a big one? I can't see anything from here. <clears throat> well then, everyone. The ritual is all set up. Now I know you're all excited about the free coffee, but first things first. Are we not excited more about the cake than the coffee? All together now. Show yourself, Lord Unknown. This is such fun. Reveal yourself to us, Lord Unknown. The cultists keep calling for Lord Unknown for a while, but it's becoming increasingly clear nothing is going to show up. Wow, look at this amateur hour. Yeah, like we've summoned like two demons by now. My Ashley summoned something on her first try. <laughs> We're so proud. Though that's probably not a good thing, isn't it? No us calling her or ashley i feel lord unknown is with us today but only in spirit yeah right um i it brought the cards down someone stole one of the cakes i don't know who <laughs> yeah totally who knows Ooh, can we have some now i mean i feel like that's plenty of cake for you guys it's only like six of you uh, yes please enjoy yourselves cake what are your ropes uh, sorry the, the things i spilled some coffee on them huh idiot now that you've got your answers you miss ashley is that guy trying to kill ashley He's too busy in cake to care. Whoa, someone is underdressed. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to judge my outfit. I feel like, like I look pretty good for a satanic ritual if I say so myself. These cheap asses offer milk for the coffee instead of cream. Also, the beer they sell tastes like piss. Not that I've ever drank piss. But, well, say something. Sure. Where did you hear about the gathering in the first place? The whole magazine I'm subscribed to had an ad. I figured it was going to be lame, but I thought I'd come to check it out since I don't live too far away. What about you? Same. Anyway, I gotta go. It was nice talking to you. See you next time. What next time? I thought she didn't like it here. Hey, don't judge her. Should be fine to take two pieces, right? Look how many there are. Is the yellow tag supposed to be girls and the blue tag supposed to be boys? Hee <laughs> hee, I'm on stage. It's like I'm famous. Oh, she's having a blast over there. I'm just gonna get Ashley then. Wait, how do I go up? Oh, this way. Hey, didn't we already tell you to beat it? Oh, are they done? How did somebody go? Oh, no. Look, man, you're ruining the whole vibe with that getup. Yeah, you can come in here dressed like this again. The whole point is that we don't know who's who. You know what? I think you're right. Shame on me. I'll leave right away. Um, all right, good. Just don't let this happen again. Have a good night. <laughs> oh, they are so nice, yet so intimidating. Bye, Lei. Anything yet? Why does she look so sad? Are you then snooping on the cultists? Yeah, so there's apparently a little cultist club where they all gather around for some demons and treats. But they can summon for shit. Absolutely nothing showed up. Nothing showed up on this end either. I don't understand. It was a vision for sure. That was like, here I come. Oh shit, that's the guy. It, that, that's him. That's the guy who's literally frozen in my dream. Yikes, he really just went in a room like that. He still doubted me? Where did he get the key? Could we just leave? We're supposed to back the room in the morning anyway. Our stuff is still in there. I'm sorry, why didn't you guys take the stuff if you knew a killer was coming? Like, what was the point of leaving that there? What stuff? We saw the, of most of the junk you were holding. And I can leave without the trash and laundry. Well, like someone pointed out, we can't keep wasting money buying new clothes. I mean, you guys just can just reuse that. I am not risking my life getting in there to rescue your socks. Yeah, I wouldn't either. I just leave the socks there. Like, also, when we did the laundry, it was like a pair of socks a shirt and a bra like you guys will survive it's my better bra actually this new one sucks oh, i guess still not interested in fact i'm so i'm even less inclined now <laughs> you know nothing of my troubles so hard having these huge titties regardless i think we have to kill that guy though this is no random burglary he's specifically get after us for whatever reason like somehow he tracked us down so even if we run away now won't he keep coming after us that's not wrong but <laughs> And why is he still in the room? We're not even in there. Well, if I was him, I'd figure we're out getting food or something. So now he's probably waiting to kill us upon entry. Unlikely, since he wants to go about this quietly. Um, he's definitely hiding in the closet or something. He's gay. <laughs> waiting for us to go back to sleep. And he'll kill us in our sleep, just like in my vision. Again. And you know this how? I know because that's what I do. Duh. Plus, he's using a knife, so there. Listen, Andrew, just trust me. I've thought these things through. You question know why she's thought about such things. Now, enough dilly dallying. Let's get in there and pretend. Then we forgot something. Then we'll lure him somewhere less conspicuous. And then what? You have to ask? Uh, all right. I guess so, Lele. Let's see. All right. Leave this to me. This has to be the stupidest thing we've done so far. Personally, I think shooting fireworks indoors was dumber. But hey, opinions. <laughs> Fair. Which, if I may add, was also your idea. I was 12. You should have stopped me. What? How old are we? So, should I talk you out of this one or... No, shut up and follow my lead. I need my bra. You're Ashley, okay?
Back to the cycle. No one has the force to kill you yet. Oh gosh, Yoli, Andrew. I just realized that in Prime tonight, walk to the store has left me parched. Is that so? Let us return to the gas stop at once. And since we want to be oh so quick about it, let's take a shortcut through the park, where we may frolic amongst the foliage, shielded from sight. <laughs> Alright, love where this is going. Love it. Great plan so far. How's that sound, huh? Terrific, let's go. I love how the more I play, the more I have a bolly girl accent I give her. Not so fast. Let me grab my things first. I just realized that I don't trust the staff here. Even that you're about to roam about with a hitman around, would you like to save the game? Yes, <laughs> I would like to save the game. Alright, let's get our clothes from the washing machine. But wash laundry by the way that thing's wet so can we open the closet is that a bad idea yeah <laughs> wow well, congratulations you have found the hitman and died which is the best part for the record andrew doesn't fare much better when it comes to cutting people up the hitman whoops his amateur ass better though given his romantic streak he probably didn't want to live without you anyway i bet you'd be happy about that if you weren't too fucking bad to feel anything the hitman wins and well that's an ending <laughs> yes the world is much better off without you however it's also anticlimactic you got a free do over thank you all right let's just leave then Let's leave Andy. Oh, then they're open for me, are we? What a gentleman. Just letting in some fresh air and the sounds of the city. Hurry up and get your things already. I already did. God, Andrew, get with the program. Don't steal his car. Hitman's car. The car is locked. He's the guy's cars, right? Want to break in and wake every single person on the premises? Where on earth would you want that? Huh? I thought you wanted to, you know, off the guy. The last thing we need is an audience. Oh, right. Cars have alarms. Hey, at least they asked me for doing it. You know what? That is character development. I'm so proud of you lately. Is is he coming after us or not? I don't know. I thought he would. Let's be a corner we can ambush him from. What corner? It's all bushes. I mean, we can hide in a bush. Here. An abundant shopping cart. Very classy. How about here? How about here? Or here? Oh, here. This jewel hide us nicely. What are we going to do if he just stays at the motel? Well, I guess we'll just leave then. Glow grow eyes in the back of our heads and keep watching over our shoulders all the times. Oh, what a pain. I can't believe I'm actually hoping he shut up now. Yeah, don't, don't feel bad about murdering a murderer. I mean, we've killed more innocent people by now. <laughs> and then that now. Not it. I'm just gonna give him the gun like that. Why? I'm sorry. If we stole the gun from like a warren, why does the gun look like a old ass revolver? You're making me do it again? Dude only has a knife. You've got this. Ah, I hear footsteps, I think. Actually, wait. I've never fired the gun. Crap. I think he stopped. I can't hear anything anymore. You can ambush a killing that's waiting to ambush you. And you can very well start looking for him either. No, without letting him know that you know he's here. Crap. Did we whisper too loudly? Is he onto us? What did he stop? Is he what we're up to but this all looks suspicious as hell i mean he's right this doesn't look like anything he shouldn't even be able to see us from behind this an idea hits you then oh you dirty boy no we can't do it here <laughs> oh my god is she gonna pretend that they're about to have intercourse he <laughs> off i go come and find me i don't want to actually seriously i don't know how this thing works no peeking oh my god i hate her so bad <laughs> You're Andrew, okay? Time has come to play hide and seek with a, a killer. And Ashley. All right. How do I find my gun? Do I just not? There are some bucks in the bush, but not much else. Found you. Oh, oh God, it's just you. What are you doing, you absolute... Shh. You didn't find me. Keep looking. Do you want to die? What if he sneaks up on you? Shoot, shoot, leave. Oh, okay, I get what we're doing. I really didn't get it before, but... Nothing here. It's probably here, isn't it? There's nothing with trash in this bush. I don't think they're so clever hiding their candy wrappers and beer cans over here. A shopping cart? Looks like someone has gone for the bushes here. Is he in the shopping cart? There he is. Shoot! Shoot! Okay, you know what? Shoot! Dude, you only had to do one bullet. That, that, that was overkill. You wasted literally all the bullets. Dude, is he dead? Also, you guys didn't want to make any noise, but you shot like 15 times? <laughs> nice work. Ashley reclaims her gun. Dude, you emptied the whole thing. Then why didn't you do it, Ashley, huh? I just shut that thing empty. I panicked. This thing is useless now. Well, I mean, no one knows it's empty. So I guess so. Do they sell bullets to just anyone or do you need a license or something? I'm not sure. I have no idea. Sorry, Ashley. Although I wouldn't have wasted them all if you hadn't made me shoot him. Are we still playing the finger pointing game? I thought we agreed to leave that behind. Let's just get out of here before someone sees us. Oh yeah, what the fuck was that? What was that? You're running off out of the blue. What? You need an excuse to start rummaging through the bushes. Now that the hitman thought you were looking for me, he sat there waiting to kill you. He didn't know you had a gun and would kill him instead. I am a bloody genius. What if he wasn't the bush you ran off to, huh? Genius? Well, he wasn't. Quit your bitching. It all worked out. Blue mean the next time you have these genius ideas so that I can tell you off. Huh? <laughs> 
back to her. I honestly prefer to play as Andrew. Who just leave him here? Why not? As long as no one saw us, dude, who's gonna have a clue it was us. Hell, this guy carries nice to him. He's cool like criminal. Maybe the authorities will assume his, his friends got to him or something. Ever the optimist. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's just go before someone comes to walk their dog or something. Got car keys. Nice. Oh, yep, baby. Leave those fingerprints all over the guy. This is great. I'm sure you meant to say something else. I guess it doesn't matter since you've never gotten your fingerprints taken. Have you? Yeah. Ah, oh, motherfucker. What for? A driver's license. Well, good thing it's me handling, mine handling the corpse then. All right. Let's go, Andrew. Let's get out of here. Are we driving the car? I was going to say, who's going to drive? But he has a driver's license, so that makes sense. Um, Andrew, where the fuck are you going on the back seat for? All right, let's see if this guy has anything interesting in his car. So much for not leaving fingerprints. It's a little late to worry about that. You've already touched the door, the handle, the wheel. It's fine. It's me, right? Okay. It's an envelope with various papers inside. The most notable one reads, Dear Mr. Washing Machine, consider this a receipt for your cleaning services. We're extremely grateful that you've accepted to clean our laundry for us. We're so confident in your service that we will not be needing any progress reports. In fact, please do not contact us. If anyone were to ask, the less we know, the better. As a bonus, we've included free samples of all the new sort of from a sister company happy washing are we the laundry probably yeah why would someone want them dead though seems that way <laughs> yikes take the car and go now i want to check the back seat wait till mindlessly sits on top of the car seat this paper cutouts for various, various incidents most of them are about your old apartment both the tainted water and the fire situation there is also an article from last week about some chemical leak in some other city someone has scribbled the word same shit in the corner okay why is he targeting us though Room, room. So, where to? Um, could you elaborate? We're off to somewhere, right? Got the car and everything now. It's not exactly the best situation to go Jordan in a stolen car. We barely have enough money to feed us. Fine, let's go take mom's. For fuck's sake, does everything I say go in one ear and out the other? We're never going to talk to anyone we know ever again, remember? Did I say squat about talking to her? Let's go rope the bitch blind and leave. What money do you think she has exactly? I'm sure she's got something. I thought she inherited some jewelry from grandma. Didn't she... Just leave and not want to see us ever again or something. Well, yeah, but she can sell those. She can, but I sure can. Oh, uh, no. We still can't go over there. Why not? We've got poor swords or something. Our principal is definitely something they've looked into. Listen, Andy. Wrong. Andrew, the pursuer is taking a nap in the park right now. Do you honestly think you're anywhere near important enough for someone to hire too? If anything, it seems they assume that guy took care of us and that's that. But the thing is, I'd rather be overly cautious than dead. Sigh, I'll, we'll be quick. Get in there, rub them, kill them, and get out. I know you want to kill our parents, great. You just said we can't talk to them again anyway, so why wouldn't we want them alive? They might as well be dead. I'm way too tired for this. Fine, we'll just drop them then. Break in while they're at work, got some money, and then get lost. I'll take it. Where do they live now anyway? How do you guys know where they live? Don't they just disappear without a trace? I know the place, but I don't remember the exact address. She actually told you the address? Yeah. Huh. The only thing she told me was to stop calling her. Okay, I see. I just didn't want to talk to Lele then. You probably figured I'd tell you then. Well, what a sloppy job you did. Don't forgive me, Ashley. It didn't seem like relevant information at the time. Whatever, just drive. I haven't driven a car in over two years. Will we be fine? Just don't distract me if anything. Okie dokie. Feet on the floor. The music in this game is great. My god, it's not even your car. I mean, it's still dangerous to put your feet up like that. Shut up and put your seal belt on. Dude, this sucks. Yeah, yeah, it sucks. Now hurry up. I'll be goddamned if we caught in a dead man's car just because we got pulled over for some stupid shit. Make me then. Do you or do you not want to go rob our parents? I said, make me and you. Like, genuinely, I can't stand her. I, okay, what do you want? If it's okay to piss me off, then you're nailing it right now. Pissing me off too. Oh, come on, this is the joke. I know it's not a joke. I- Yeah, it is. You get so mad. It's just funny. Like, I don't know you, Ashley. You've pulled this shit before. I have no idea what you're talking about. It'll keep going Andy, Andy until I get tired of correcting you. And suddenly it's Andy and Lily and stupid bullshit all over again. Way to read into it. I was honestly just joking around. No, no you weren't. Well, then it's not funny and you're going to stop. Nothing is funny to you anymore. I think it was never funny to him. Oh, no. Now he's all embarrassed. Where are those dots? Like, is that- Freaking Morse code. Well, are you going to drive or what? I just don't want to get into trouble. <laughs> like, I get it from Andy's POV, but like, Andy has killed like three people by now. Like, why do you even care now? <laughs> but you don't have to be such a hard ass about it. I do though, when you're such a dumb ass about it. Just drive. Are you angry? I'm looking out for us. Fucking drive, Andy. Get your act together. Stand up for yourself, Andy. Stop keeping up with the bullcrap. <laughs> Drive, Andrew. And so he does, finally. And you said to give Andrew the silent treatment until he apologizes. They're not sure what he needs to apologize for exactly, but you won't forgive him until he does. So while you wait for him to notice, you're not talking to him, you fall asleep. <laughs> he didn't notice. What the? You're pretty sure you're dreaming. But at the same time, you feel wide awake. Are we in the demon realm? Hello? 
Mr. Demon that gave me the gift of prophecy? Apollo? Apollo wasn't a demon, but who would give people the gift of prophecy, right? Oh, huh? What? Who's there? What are you? And where am I? Is this another vision or what? There's no response. There's nothing to step on. Just jump forehead, easy. <laughs> like, it's a dream. You can't die in a dream, right? Eat that bird flowers. Nice. So, do the flowers float? Put down some red flowers. Nice. Ooh, I see the eyes. Those are like the eyes that the cultists like to draw all over. Watch your own muffled. I can't hear anything. The voice continues talking, but you can't make heads or tails of it. Ah, whatever. I should focus on getting out of here anyway. Maybe bottom? Oh my god, it's just a maze. Holy, I hope I'm not missing it. Wait, did I just make a loop? I think I did. Oh, I am making loops. Okay, I see. There's nothing to step on. Okay, so I need flowers again. Oh, I see them. You have to go back. Yeah. Fuck! Where am I? Everything looks the same. Here. Girl, we got the flowers. Chill out. Put them here. We go here. That's where the creepy eyes are. Oh, that's a demon we summoned. Oh, just avoid it falling down into an eternal void. Lucky. Hello, Mr. Demon. Ah, it's you. I summoned you before, right? Demon, where am I? Well, can you wake me up then? I was in the middle of something. It doesn't even occur to you that you should be afraid of this soul stealing creature. I have summoned you to make a deal. Great, but I can do this now. What if Angie tries to talk to me? He needs to know I'm deliberately ignoring him instead of being in a coma or something. The demon couldn't care less about the lover's spat you're having with your brother. He cries on as if you hadn't said a thing. You've used my gift. What? Was it useful? Seeing the future? Ah, yes, the trinket you gave me. Yes, it's been very useful. Thank you. Then do you want to see the future again? Sure. I just have to keep holding onto it, right? It's out of energy. You have to kill someone? I am able to recharge it. Do you want to make a deal? Of course you do. Never has it ever been a bad idea to make deals with devils. Let's hear it then. What did you want? Human souls. I mean, we just killed one. We can give you that one. But you're not getting mine, so if that was it, then... Not yours, parcel. Is that like an insult or... Who's then? Just anybody's? And why don't you go get some souls yourself? I cannot enter the human realm unsummoned. I cannot enter here. I am able to reach you only because of my talisman. But even then, one can only interact between realms with yours. Do we have a deal? I don't really get it, but I can say I'm all that interested either. Listen, I really need to get back to my brother. If I offer you a soul, you'll make my talisman change your dream thing work again, right? Correct. Sounds good. I do, ha I do have a soul or two in mind, actually. But I'll see what Andrew has to say about it. He's kinda... I don't know. Something is shifting. I don't really like it. I don't like his barbs. I think he's a Scorpio. The demon says nothing to that. It probably wasn't the right entity to talk to about this. I will be waiting. Alright, alright. I'll see what I can do. So, how do I wake up? You wake up once your mind returns home. Huh? Farewell, Tassel. The entity has left, so I'm guessing I have to make it to that door. There's more flowers here, actually. They're kind of hidden away. I like this door. The door is secret with eyes. Enter. Why not? Ooh. Let me save real quick. Hello, Mr. Eye Demon. Oh. There you go. Like this. How do I get to the top one? Like this? Yeah. Nice. Now, what? Do I talk to the eye? Mr. Eye, hello. Awesome. Well, hello again. This is not the path to your home. Oh. Up here is my realm. You must return to your own. I thought it was already the demon world? It's the realm in between. I'm doing the one realm and summon when we saw the new path. Huh. So it's fine as long as you're summoned? So why not summon me to your realm? Why summon me here in this crap land instead? Return home, Chancel. I am expecting the souls. You can't tell me there's another realm and then not show it off to me. Return now. Ah! Where am I now? Oh, this is so tiresome. I've had it up to here with these stupid flowers. Are we gonna collect a bunch of them? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going up now? Am I gonna get killed? Ah! Ashley? Andy, is that you? Help, get me out of this shithole. Come on, wake up. It's not funny. I'm trying, jackass. Do something. Help me. Ugh. Oh, thank God. I was a hair away from taking you to the hospital. Huh? Why? That would screw us over, wouldn't it? You wouldn't wake up no matter what I did. God, Ashley, don't screw me like that. Oh, what time is it? Like 10 in the morning or something? I wonder if I should both be at work right now. So whenever you're ready, I guess. You're only being nice now because you treated me like shit last night. I'll show you the way you deserve to be treated. Or actually, no, scratch that. Consider you kept pushing me around all day. I think I was pretty fucking lenient with you. <sighs> so anyway, this episode is titled 
Andrea and Ashley and the home sweet home invasion. What kind of knockoff cash grab show is that? I'm not interested. But it's definitely also about cash grabbing. <laughs> that, that was kind of funny. I, I'll give him that. I mean, boo. No, thank you. No, I saw that. You're into it. Let's go. No, it sucks. <laughs> but I'm so nice that I'll roll with it for now. But you're an air for with some park. Free parking, that's why. The one that lives somewhere down this slope, okay? That's not that far away. Anything in this sign? Welcome to the Bumfuck Nowhere National Park. My favorite park. Anything in this car? So it's nothing but more parking spots, okay? Ice cream shop? Ice cream stand only operates during the high of summer season. They just leave that up until it's summer? This can be the right place. Look how nice everything is. No, it's gotta be this. She did sound happy when she talked about her new place too. What's her last name anyway? What do you mean what's her last name? The name place on the doors, did they go with dad's name or mom's? That's name, right? Why would they change that at this point? I don't know, she froze off. Really make it sound like they don't want us to find them. It's that feeling I got. Hmm. Oh, whatever. Let's find the house of Mr. and Mrs. Graves. That's her last name. Cheater son. Jones. Um... Now what? Mix it with some bio wins. Aha! Here we go. Then just knock. No one comes to open the door. All right, all good. Whatever, let's just find the way in. Through the rock path? Oh, come on. Look at this place. They've got a garden and everything. Doesn't matter. We'll fill our pockets and go. I mean, at least now we know they have money. A stick. I have a little farm. Carrots, potatoes. One of the planks is loose. Okay. Can we break a window or like... Oh, I think the window is open. Can you reach it? No. Nope. Can you... No, give me like a pick me up. It's about to be something we can stand on here somewhere. The plank? No, right? How are we gonna stand on the plank? Are we gonna climb it? Oh, it's on the wooden plank. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, it's still too high. Lift me up. Well, oh no, good. It's open but held in place by a latch that's on the other side of the window. That seems like it's open enough for you to like just open it. Damn it, my fingers can't reach to unhook it. So, oh, the stick. Makes sense. Let's see, let's see. Aha! Uh -huh. Andrew helps you climb for the now open window. Give me your hand, I'll pull you up. Thanks, but rather much you just open a door for me. Oh yeah, that would be easier. Renovations are at the... Oh, they're building a new home. That's kind of nice. Welcome, welcome! Thank you. Not so fast. Now, what do we say? Thank you very much. Wrong. Try again. Exceptionally well done. That was an earth-shattering performance. Yes! Can you open a door so swiftly and with such grace? Stunning, marvelous, breathtaking. There are about a few words that use to describe your ability to trespass. May I come in now? You may. Great. Now let's pull it up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Uh, hey, there was something I was wondering about. Right now, can't it wait? Our situation is kind of time sensitive. Yeah, why didn't you talk about this like on the 10 hour drive or something? Well, it can, I guess. Good, then tell me later. Did not seem really happy about that. It's not a letter. A letter. It reads, Sorry to hear about what happened with the kids. I agree it was probably a blessing in disguise. Don't feel guilty. It's not your fault. Lord has sorted it out all for you. Yes, yeah, since Andrew won't be finishing college, is there any chance my daughter could have his textbooks? It's also ridiculously expensive. Thanks in advance. Much love to you and your husband. You never told you, me you dropped out. I didn't. It was just on pause until I got out of quarantine. Though, given the situation right now, I guess I did drop out. Well, tough luck for their daughter. Your textbooks are in the ashes now. That was kind of sad. We're like, oh, sorry about your kids. Anyway, can I get them books? A fireplace? They have a goddamn fireplace, Andrew! Yes? It's some rich people's stuff. Who has a fireplace inside their house? It's not that uncommon, is it? I, I don't think it is. For a house? <laughs> not in all their houses anyway. But is this house old? Fuck if I know. It's the phone your mother never calls you with. <laughs> nice. Notice how there aren't any photos of us, of us here? So what? I guess I'm a little offended. It's not like there were any pictures in general in the last place either. True, but now that there are some, why not of us too? Because you're just too ugly to be put on display. Right, maybe that's it. You're supposed to say I'm pretty! Tell me I'm pretty. And you're supposed to be robbing the house. Get to it. You know what? You're so right. Although I thought we were like looking around together, but whatever. You don't even want to know what your parents have been up to on this bed. Cool. So as toys and some rope. We closed the closet. Oh, okay. I know what kind of toys there were. Mom and dad having their fun. There's not much in the fridge right now. Toilet. No, this is the way we came in. It has to be in their room, right? You have to wait to open the dresser. Is the basement? Oh. I see. A washing machine and a tumble dryer. Your parents are living it up. I have one of those. Cleaning supplies such as vinegar. Nice. Dirty laundry. Right at the top sits some sexy laundry. How uncomfortable. An excellent quality mop. The throat drain seems a little clogged up. But it's not your problem. Why do we have a shower on the basement? Why is there a whole room in the basement now that I realize? Well, you tell it upstairs is what actually works. A table lays some documents about purchasing a house. There's also a key. Nice. The dresser key. This one's decorations including a string of lights. Your parents have lived here for only a few months. Yet they've somehow managed to hoard all this stuff in a spare bed to boot. One is clearly no longer an issue. And the extra bed implies there are no issues in their social life either. So they left us and are rich. Interesting. Where's Andy? Oh. Hi. Our friends seem to have picked up some new and exciting hobbies. Oh, he found he found the toys. 
on the special toys. Tell me more. I uh don't think I will. But now it makes sense why mom kept hassling us to move out. I mean, do you think your parents just kicked you out because they wanted to? Okay, you know what? Oh, you found the key. Nice. What's in there? There's no sign of any jewelry, but just put some paperwork. It reads, Dear Mr. and Mrs. Graves, you have opted in for compensation for damages caused by our company's error. Our representative will be glad to meet with you. Please come discuss the matter further at your earliest convenience. Flipping through the folder, something else catches your eye. It is the death certificate of Ashley and Andrew Graves. Huh? Huh? I didn't know we died three months ago. What the hell is this? I guess that explains why mom kept telling me to not to call. It must have been spooky getting phone calls from a ghost. That's... Someone has entered the house. Oh shit, isn't this too early? They shouldn't be home by now. It's a shame that you wasted all our bullets. L like, we'd shoot anyway. Is someone there? <laughs> I, love, I love how we're just screaming here. Like, <laughs> mom definitely heard that. <laughs> Hi, mom. It's just us. Andy, you, you could have, you know, we could have pretended that we weren't here. Like, he didn't have to. Welcome home. Andrew, what are you doing here? She's not happy to see us. <laughs> Surprise, we came for a visit. Oh, I see. How are you home so early? Did you get fired? It's my day off. I was just out shopping. What did you two get inside? You left the door unlocked. You should really be more careful about that. Did I really? Here, let me help you with those groceries. Thanks. You should have let me know you were coming. How about some coffee? Where do you keep the grounds? Mom is about to call the police on us. <laughs> in the top cupboard. But what about the quarantine? Any milk in yours? Sure, let me just go wash my face. The hell are you doing? Just play along for now, please. I feel like Andy still likes her parents. Meanwhile, Lele. Is it Lele or Lily? I'm still not sure. Just wants them dead. I'm just gonna call her Ashley. Guess I'll make for some coffee. If it's for Ashley, she would've just picked the gun. Can I check on mom? Got a bad idea. Hey mom. Hi sweetheart. Why did you stop answering my calls? Ashley, I can't spend my entire life listening to you complain. Okay, you know what, Ashley? You do complain a lot. So I kinda get it. The least you could have done was mail some dry food or something. Oh right, they were starving. You know what? I'm not on your mom's side anymore. What for? You were taken care of. You're still spinning that bullshit? Why shouldn't you be bothering Andrew by now? At least he gives a shit. Does he really? Uh, I, I guess he does. Cry about it. <laughs> oh my god, mom. Okay, you know what? I see where you come from, Ashley. I totally see where you get that attitude. <laughs> Other groceries. Meat, wine. Looks like your parents had a night planned. Where's the dad? He's putting away groceries. Okay, let's just make the coffee, I guess. So, I saw the fire on the news. What happened? What do you care? But, oh, uh, that's Andrew kicking us on the foot. Okay. Well, first we got evacuated. After that, they gave us the go ahead to leave. So, we've been cleared of the parasites anyway. I, I still don't get. Are there really parasites? Or were we just like blood sources, like blood bags, basically, where that they would just take what they needed? I, I feel like that's why we were starving, right? Because they needed the blood to be like clean. They basically needed us to be fasting for the blood donation. Or, well, I guess not donation. They were just taking it from us. Huh? Interesting. On the news, they said everyone died. That would essentially make the story so more. Anyway, here we are now, neither burnt nor full of parasites. I'm just glad you're safe. She looks so glad right now. She's jumping of joy. Yeah, you sure look like it. Oh, <laughs> okay, you know, I'm giving Ashley a lot of shit, but I'm saying the exact same stuff she's saying. So, so uh, got the upgrade from a previous place, huh? Where'd you get the money for this place? Did you finally win the lottery? Did you sell us? Are we basically human traffic? Ha, <laughs> I wish. This house needs some serious repairs, but the area is so worth it, don't you think? The perfect non-answer. They even hold barbecue events here with the neighbors. Barbecue events, just like on TV. I thought that was all bullshit, but no, they actually do that stuff here. We just stick out like a sore tom. You'd be surprised, I'm actually quite well liked but it's probably all thanks to my cooking skills it's a shame our ashley didn't hurt any damn just bring jade to ashley hey what the hell <laughs> the rest of the conversation is dreadfully boring you don't contribute anything to it because you can't keep up with andrew's lies and if you're being honest you don't want to talk to your mother in the first place well it was good seeing you your father should be coming home soon so i really need to start making some dinner oh no don't worry about it i'll make something you know full well that was her way of telling you to get lost um oh boy i can't wait to hear how that has been the most out of all kinds of stories that were repairing this place. That's true. Anyway, why don't you go rest? I'll fix us something. Uh, I'll take you up on that. Thank you. Mother leaves. Oh, thank God. I like being Andy more. I love how I'm like, I just like Andy more and he hates being called Andy. I'm just calling him that. Somehow your burglar attempt ended up with you cooking your victim's dinner. Go ahead then. Make something. You smooth talker, you. Um, I mean, oh, well, I guess they are victims. I was gonna say, like, they're not really victims. I like them, but. So that fish is some meat. You could probably make something out of that if you knew what. You don't know how to cook meat? That's like the easiest thing. You have nothing to cut. Oh, we're getting the cooking book. Okay, that makes sense. But I got this. You can go do whatever. I'm all right. What is it? It's nothing. You're stuck with an odd urge to pull this pretty bitch into your arms and force her to stay until she smiles. That's a weird way to say you just want to hug her. 
But you push such an idea to the back of your mind, where it may fester with all the other thoughts you wish you never had. Either way, you let her hover over you for now. On a simple soup recipe, you need meat, carrots, potatoes, and onions. The briefing and pulling in a pot. Easy enough? The meat, where do we get the rest? From downstairs? Your mom's purse. Got a bit of cash. It's nowhere near enough for you. Well, at least we got some money. Do we get it straight from the garden? Damn, this is gonna be a fresh soup. How nice that our plants had all these fresh ingredients. But we languished in our apartment. Really makes one appreciate just how much they love us. Come on, we'll get ours. We just have to figure out how to go about this now that she's seen us. Leave no witnesses. Let's not jump to just that just yet. I fucking knew it. Please just let me think. I'll figure out something, alright? You get the feeling she has something more to say. But you can tell whatever it is, it's going to start an argument. So you leave it be for now. Got carrots. I love how Ashley just wants to kill everyone. That's the resolution for everything but actually we're gonna go to jail got onions although we already have so many such a high body count i don't think it even matters we got everything we cupped everything just curious did you just use the cultist cleaver to cut all the ingredients yes why i hope you watched it first i've kept it clean obviously how is the killer cleaver clean anyways that should be all the ingredients also you have a knife rack right beside you why are you using the cleaver okay you know what whatever you do you andrew I think it's in the bottom wait. All right, you can't take this anymore. Ashley, I can tell something's up. Spit it out. I have something to tell you. But first, you have to promise you'll agree. Well, absolutely not promise that. Okay, then never mind. Stop being annoying. What is it? Oh, you're going to be such a bitch about it. I really wanted you to come to this conclusion by yourself. But since you won't, let me spell it out for you. Is she gonna say that their mom sold them, basically? You have to kill mom and dad. Oh, okay. Maybe she's not caught in there yet. That's my theory. Maybe that actually didn't happen. <sighs> No, no, none of that. They actually need their souls to recharge the clairvoyant stream thingy. Can we not kill someone else? What not the parents? Do you really or are you just saying that? Huh? Pretty fucking interesting that you mentioned this now of all times. I did try to tell you before, but you blew me off. It's still weird timing. And again, I was hoping you'd come around on your own. Shame on me for expecting anything from you. Let me think about it. What's there to think about? We can kill someone else, not our parents. Hey kids, good to see you. Says that with all the enthusiasm of a dead fish. That doesn't look so good. One extremely tiresome dinner later. Why does that dad don't have a little art so I can see his face? Ew, that was a riveting conversation. What did we talk about again? Anyway, I'm sorry, kids. I'm exhausted from work. I'm heading straight to bed. Did you two clean up? He leaves without waiting for an answer. That's fucked up. Thank God they were so excited to see us. Picked up the dishes. This game loves to make me clean. That's what I've realized. It can be done. The dishes, the rubbing or the killing? Rubbing, nor killing. The more I think about it, the less doable this is. It takes one report to the authorities to put us on the radar. And if anything happens to our parents, who do you reckon are the prime suspects? Well, surely not their two dead kids. But were those documents even official? Well, even then, surely the poor grave siblings perished in the fire. Trust me, it only takes one person to start digging into it. And so we've not only alerted them we're alive, but also revealed our recent whereabouts. But we're off mugging random strangers who have no connection to us. And what makes you so sure this bitch one's on us anyway seems to me she already sold us off once before i feel like she would have already sold you like i feel like she would have already called why would she wait i mean assuming she believed me earlier there's be no reason for her to do anything she's the kind of person who would rather stay out of it anyway i fucking knew it i knew it i knew it i knew it what, what? you're all about being so careful but when push comes to shove you stick your head in the sand hell since you think everything is all good why not stay here and play happy family some more but you like that huh you seem to get along so nice you know i'm only keeping up, up appearances right and so is she. Uh, to me, it was the same as ever. Ashley, are you kidding me? Listen, I chose you, didn't I? I chose you. So if anyone is playing Happy Family here, it's you and me. So you're saying you're not happy? Not that I didn't know that already. Fuck off with that. That's not what I said. If you'd keep your end of the agreement, everything will be just peachy. I've been behaving. No, you haven't. But that's not what I'm talking about anyway. What's Ashley's body count? Five? Oh, actually, no. It's Andrew's body count. She just makes him do it, but he's the one that has killed everyone. It's like four at least. I agree to behave, and you agree it's just us now. Funny, because I remember agreeing to bury Andy and Lele, and here we are. That is funny. I think you're misremembering. I'm not the gaslight gatekeep girl boss. I'm not because it's the only reason I'm here in the first place. Then you must have misunderstood me. What? If you don't like it, why don't you stay here with mommy and daddy and be a good little murder boy? Why don't you leave me to rot? Clearly you don't even like me. You're the one who doesn't like me. It's all about Andy with you. Well, guess what? Andy's dead. I love how they use every excuse they can to get their heads really close together. There are so many panels that are just like this. You're right. I really don't like Andrew. I'm sorry to hear that. Because Andrew's all you'll get. They were about to kiss there. That was, that was, they were thinking it. N now isn't the time for this anyway. Let's just leave. We'll figure out what we'll do about the money and the trinket. All of this family is just fucked up. If you're living anyway with the trinket charge, we'd at least have the means to stay safe. I, I get that, but if we leave finally, there'll be no need for anyone to look for us. Andrew, I don't believe for a second that woman can keep her mouth shut without being dead. 
Um, <laughs> what are you two whispering about? We were whispering that something to me like we were just screaming. Nothing. Do you need something? It's like piecing apart. I don't suppose you've gotten any friends you could go stay with. Oh, there's not enough space in this house. It's already being far larger than the last one. They, you even had an extra bed. And you're both already in your 20s. Oh, they are in their 20s. Good to know. Honestly, I, I was wondering about that. I don't know how else to say it. No, no, it's... Yeah, we're not fucking planning on leaving here. Thanks for the invitation, though. It's like you're, you're unwelcome to visit. There's just no room to keep housing you with indefinitely. Yeah, I get it. But since you're already here, I guess one night won't be a problem. But you need to start looking for somewhere else to stay first thing in the morning. And they should probably be two separate places is the mom just grossed out at them being in love <laughs> because honestly i would get it that's a tall order after all our earthly possessions just burned to the ground it's amazing what money can buy once you have a job speaking of which i have a morning shift tomorrow there's a spare bed in the basement and you you can take the couch all right good night good night well, aren't you going to bed? I'm not that tired yet, so... You're under my roof right now, and you will go to des your designated sleeping areas immediately. Why? Like, what's the problem? Are, are they making too much noise, or like, what? Uh, sleep now or get out at once. You pretend to go to bed until your parents fall asleep. Going to sleep is the worst. During the day, all the noise and actually never-ending bullshit keeps your mind occupied. But at night, alone with your thoughts, there's nothing to distract you from yourself. So by having every intention of going to pick a fight with Ashley, you drift off to sleep. Oh, are we hallucinating now? Greetings, neighbor. I've thou arrived to borrow sweet granules of sugar. Behold, as thou may witness, not but flesh doth I possess present unto thee. All the gods are apparently required to speak like this. Yes, if, even the recently passed ones. You read too much poetry. <laughs> Be alert, young Mr. Graves. It's time for you to come compartmentalize is this trauma or are we actually seeing a vision what else the freezer oh blood there this freezer is in full of human meat then what's the point are we supposed to get this but a limb but another limb but a pan all oh, right i should already cook one oh i think this is a nightmare bro has trauma it's missing candles i see you have to go where ashley is hello what are you doing here oh it's lele i mean ashley but younger actually no don't answer i don't care get lost you're not supposed to exist anymore says who you you're not the boss of me andy forget this all right lele let's go is this is lele and andy then stop following me little shit <laughs> Is Andy and Lily just like their nicknames when they're younger? That makes sense, wouldn't it? Where do we go now, though? Where else to go, right? Oh, it sure is dark that way. Good thing I have these candles. Great, hand them over. <laughs> no way! Kill her? Oh, I'm so tempted, but I'm gonna ask nicely. May I have one of those candles, please? Nope. And why is that? Because I only have so many left. And if my lemon muffin has no candles, I can pretend it's a cake anymore. Just eat then? That way you can pretend you ate that cake and won't need the candles anymore. It's too precious to eat! God, you're such a tool today! Okay, whatever. So what you're telling me is she has been this way all her life. Oh, let me get that. Let me place a candle on the candle holder. Nothing happens. You're welcome. Use your lighter to light the candle. Oh, nice. How do I get there, though? Over here? There has no handle, nor will it budge. Interesting. Huh? Oh. Oh, there you go. Light this up. Light it up. Up, up. What's that creepy girl on the corner? Do you see that? What the hell is that? White noise. Even in your dreams, the entertainment sucks. So, confirmed, we are in a dream. So, what did you want to play today? Nothing. Go to bed. Boring. I don't care. Go to sleep. I never wake up again. I don't want to sleep. I want to draw. Draw then. Just don't leave this spot. I can't draw without any coloring pencils. Bye. Oh, if I nick myself, I can get red. I'll get your pencils. Thanks, Andy. You're the best. I mean, it's dream lately. Just better pick yourself. <laughs> it's not real anyway. Or maybe she is. I guess we'll find out. How do I get there? I'm guessing through here. Easy enough. Got some colored pencils. Now, nice. Who are you? Julia. Is Julia our ex-girlfriend? You've been all quiet all day. What's up? No, it's it's nothing. She's cute. What? You pull that, Andrew? What happened? Or actually, I've been thinking about something a lot lately. Your sister wants to fuck you. But I don't know if I should bring it up. With that much build-up, you kind of have to now. <laughs> well, okay, but please don't get mad. When I have I ever once even raised my voice with her. You know you can tell me anything. I uh talked to my sister about what you said the other day. And she agrees with me and that and maybe it's like maybe it'd be better for Ashley to learn some independence. Even if just for her own sake, you know? Ta okay, so even your friends wanted you to like let her go, huh? And maybe for our sake too, so she's my girlfriend. I think it'd just be nice if you could stay over more often. And not like always cut things short or cancel on me so much. Sorry. Is she? Is Julia the girlfriend that broke up with him over the phone? On the first chapter? I don't remember. I am not reprimanding you. I'm not reprimanding you. I can't make her learn anything though. N no, but you could like, you know, not always go when she asks. If your sister needed something, wouldn't you go? Well, yes, but she only asks if she actually needs something. I suppose. Sorry, maybe I shouldn't have 
have said that. I brought this up after all. No, no, it's fine. I guess I'm still shook up over what happened to your friend way back when. Actually, it might not look like it, but I think it affected her a lot too. So that's probably what she is, how she is. About the friend that Ashley killed that had asthma. Are we talking about her? I really don't get that impression at all. For someone so obnoxious, she's surprisingly difficult to read, isn't she? I'd say it's pretty easy to read her you're just in delusion because she's your sister uh, she's difficult in general sorry i didn't catch that <laughs> no nothing gone anyway i worry about something like that happening to her or happening to you so i can't let either of you out of my sight and i feel like ashley's gonna kill jules <laughs> i'll be fine if you're with me will you tie your hair up for me <gasps> you want her to look like ashley oh heck no you want it again <laughs> wait does ashley have her hair tied up she does right oh uh, but don't you know it's how boys show their love well that's just awful <laughs> i suppose she still lingers it hasn't been that long i just kind of forgot about her with all the chaos going on what do you hope to find in this pervert okay so i still don't get what his deal is because i can tell he does have attraction for ashley which grows but i can't tell if he's like he's actually down for what ashley wants because actually he just wants him he'll never see her again and the fact that it doesn't really bother you bothers you interesting it's your ex-lover's dormitory room are you repressing your feelings andrew a collection of photos and notes your girlfriend cherishes oh your ex used to cherish you're pretty sure you wouldn't be up there anymore the chest is full of letters mostly death threats from ashley all right ashley what do you want someone stares inside the room with an unblinking gaze all right we're bringing her the coloring thing the crayons yes thank you what should i draw i wouldn't want to hinder your artistic genius with my bad ideas hmm good call oh whatever as so i think i'll give you a candle Read it carefully as if it were me i'm letting it on fire not cool that's planes for you <laughs> boo you suck got a candle nice so we didn't have to kill her i wonder what happened if we killed her please don't hit the candle Ooh. oh that's all the people we've killed now i can know the body count one two three we'll kill the other guy then ashley oh yeah ashley's uh, killed it for the demon found ashley in the closet there you are you menace Ta-da! she does have a ponytail i told you i'm missing that limb you cook i figured you'd have it it's in your stomach right and mine are you going to cut me up to get it i'd rather not what do you need it for anyway it's been days by the way that thing's in the sewers there's plenty of limbs right behind you that's true uh, are we like low-key becoming cannibals now this one you have to get before he got you it worries you someone wanted you dead badly enough to hire this guy that's if you're limb why didn't we get it from the other guy well met young graves here i, I got you more limbs oh i also need this one mm -mm -mm. does thou reckon that my mortal frame was consumed by the flames or sooth i do not <laughs> me thinks the innards of a freezer doth not combust perchance it may cook but to burn i know if not Barely the most foolish deed those hast ever committed was to leave mine own remains in thine undwelling. Praise the heavens, that some souls sought to protect themselves and kindle the flame which engulfed all. That was a lot of words and nothing stuck, I'ma tell you that much. He possesses the absent limb, yet it doth not belong to me. Perchance it is of little consequence to thee. Am I supposed to rip my stomach open? There's also severe limbs in the freezer. This reminds you of something. Oh, it's asthma, girl. The trauma is coming back. Because all the other kills you could say were for survival, but this one was just that murder. Oh boy. Oh boy. He's going through it. Open it. Not this again. Rise and shine, Nina. Nina, that was her name. Did you have a fun night? I sure hope you learned your lesson. There's no answer. Oh, is she still sleeping? Nina, are you there? Lele keeps the tray. Wake up, sleepyhead. Come on, don't. You open the crate. Oh crap. I mean, we already know she she died there because she had asthma, so. Oh, oops. He's just a psychopath, bro. Wait, wait, what? Why, why, why is she dead? How did... What? Th that can't be right. What is going on? Whatever. If you're so weak that you died just like that, then clearly nature doesn't want you to live. Sh shut up. Just shut up. Forget this. Let's just leave her here. Since you took the stick off, it looks like she went there on her own anyway. N no, it doesn't. Why would she have clawed at the grate until her fingernails split if she was there willingly? That's just messed up. I'm sorry, but if he sees all this and he still doesn't believe Lily is fucked in the head, then I don't know what to tell you. Oh well, it's not like anyone knows she's here. Let's just leave her. No, she'll it'll start rotting, and, and someone will come looking and find her. I mean, her family was already looking for her. It's only a matter of time until they come check here. So what do we do then? Um, I but fuck, let's just hide it then, huh? If no one knows, then it's not not a problem. They're gonna gonna know lily they'll find the body and they'll know and then they'll throw me in prison for the rest of my life and her me too it's funny if it's the both of us no no you fucking idiot you don't get it do you guys and girls don't go to the same prison they're going to take you away from me so you're obsessed with her too uh, again i keep going back and forth 
if she, he is obsessed with her or not. The game keeps reminding me he, in fact, is just as obsessed. How was I supposed to know that? Figure something out then, since you're so smart. Oh, okay, okay, let's just, uh, like, move her somewhere. Yes, a grave. Let's dig up a grave for her. All right, where? Anywhere in the forest should be fine. I mean, there's a park right outside. Yeah, there is probably fine. But first, we need to wrap her up in something, because no one can see us carry her there. Um, it is blanket? This one is too big and heavy. This one? This will have to do. We wrap Nina's corpse inside the tarp. And carry her away. Yeah, not suspicious at all. Inconspicuous. Like, look at that. I couldn't find the shovel, but I figured those wooden planks work too. I mean, they're kind of shovely. Just watch for splinters. You just have the least of my worries right now. Let's pick a good, easy to dig spot. I feel like every time people dig graves for their corpses and stuff, like, wouldn't it be super obvious that someone dug there? M maybe here, there doesn't seem to be any roots in the way. I'm tired. Yeah, this is way harder than I thought it would be. Isn't this deep enough already? The grave should be six feet, right? Forget it. She fits here just fine. Hey. Okay, fine. Don't let push the body into its grave. There you go. See, doesn't that look oh, mega suspicious? Like, I, I don't know. I, I feel like that wouldn't work. Crap, this doesn't look natural at all. Oh, okay, you know, Andrew and me, we're sharing connections. Except for the obsession with Lele part because I hate her. Looks fine to me. No, there can't be this. This obvious of a spot. It needs to be hidden too. Wanna hide it with some leaves and such? I feel like the leaves will just wash away. Some foliage. Some more foliage. Maybe just like move a bush or something. There you go. Oh yeah, this looks so much better, huh? That doesn't look better. Also, this is all getting blown away by the next breeze. There's gotta be something here to hold them in place. Like this? No, that doesn't look suspicious at all. Nice. Makes me want to write her name on it. Out of the question. I wasn't going to do it. I was just saying. <sighs> What is it now? She's hidden. What if they find her? What if a police dog picks her up? Listen, forget it. I can't. Of course you can. You know that if you don't think about something for a really long time, it's like it never happened? Well, it's still in his nightmares, apparently, so. Because you can't remember it anymore. Let's forget all about it. L Lele, I need to know you won't say anything to anyone. Why would she? Promise me this stays between us. You said we'll forget about it. You say one thing and do another. Promise me that this time you'll honest to God keep your mouth shut. I promise. I won't say anything. Hell, I'll never even say her name again. What? was it anyway i don't remember anymore <sighs> it was nina by the way there there it'll be fine just kidding i'm gonna tell you if you won't do what i say i'll tell everyone all about what you did also she's just a bitch too who's going to play with you if i'm in jail i'll send you letters i can't read your crappy handwriting guess you just have to do what i say then otherwise you'll be all alone in prison i'm your best friend from now on you already were lately don't lie to me i'm not I think whatever it's you and me now no one else will like you because you're bad you're a bad person andy she's such a manipulator actual gaslight gatekeep girl boss i don't know about the girl boss part but i won't tell anyone of course not you'll be in trouble too so what no one likes me anyway but that's fine because you'll be around now god you're a stupid stupid girl i've been here this whole time enough this needed to happen you could have just i know you don't like me andy i know but that doesn't matter anymore because from now on no one will like you either but let's always be friends okay he's a psycho be my friend or else <sighs> i'll be whatever you want me to be really then from now on, let's always be together. You had a million things you wanted to say to this creature. Enough which were pleasant. But absolutely nothing came out of your mouth. So, when he was talking to his girlfriend, is this why he always comes to her? It's not like because she's so, she, he's in love with her, but because she actually has a threat on him. Like blackmail. And that's why he has to do everything he says. But then again, like I, I would like to think that Andrew's the sane one. And that he actually isn't in love with her. Uh, because of this and it's just like the black whole blackmail situation but also he wanted his um girlfriend to always have a ponytail because lately has a ponytail so i don't know what to think i'm gonna be honest several days went by without a hitch can i eat your ice cream go for it oh huh? really i can't seem to eat anything lately nom, 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 nom. why do they have to put this jam thing in strawberry ice cream it's gross i wish there was no jam i wish you had the capacity to care has anyone asked you anything about things yeah my teacher asked everyone in class some officers came by too and did you say anything nope i only asked julia if she was expecting to see anyone the other day why you know because a certain someone told her mom she wanted to study with julia so i thought maybe she told julia she was gonna come see you instead true, true. we got another witness what did she i don't know because I didn't want to just come out and ask. But Julia said she was visiting family that day, so I doubt she had any idea. Your problems mean fucking nothing. Huh? Why are you being so cold to me? You're worse than you were before, jackass. I give you my ice cream, yet I'm a jackass? Ah, wait, I see how it is. You're still pinning for that bitch. Here we fucking go again. She's steady, you're still 
feel all about her, aren't you? Oh my god, lately she's so annoying. I can't. I'm sorry. I know. I know a lot of people like her. Like even if she wasn't a murderer, I would be so over her. <laughs> like oh my god. I guess she's young here, but she's also like that in her 20s. So I can't. Like, um, like uh, it is never good enough. What a snake! I bet she died on purpose. I need a knife. Huh? Where are you going? Got a knife? Oh. You pick a knife from the sink and give it a quick wash. Okay, you know what? He's also kind of a psycho because, like, this is your reaction? Getting a knife? Maybe that's why she's a psycho. What are you doing with that knife? Briefly, you wonder if killing her will be worth it. I'm going to make a blood oath with you. But in return, you'll have to promise me something too. Okay. How old are they supposed to be here? Keep my secret and I'll keep your company. Did you guys ever think of doing a blood oath before? Like, is this a common thing? Do people just feel like, hmm, I want to make a blood oath? Actually, I might have wanted to make a blood oath at some point in my life. Never mind. And what if I don't guess <laughs> you're all park you wouldn't do anything if you ruin my life anyway what reason is there for me to keep up appearances moreover i'm doing this for you and what happens if you break the promise i won't if you won't i'm not buying that lately you're a miserable loathsome being that has worn its way into every aspect of my life and for that my heart will always have a rotten moldy spores but just for you make of that what you will they love every excuse to get this close i swear i mean i'll take it but sheesh Gently, you asshole. That, that looks like he's about to chop her finger. How does one cut someone gently? A better man would know. Whatever. And those she forever keeps her mouth shut. You just put her the blood on her mouth. That's kind of gross. Only as long as you keep your eyes closed. You put that, uh, that blood on his eye. Doesn't that give him pink eye or something? Let's no hussy steal your gaze. It's just us now. I said I'd be around. I never said there wouldn't be others. Uh, wait, no, I want to do over. Too late. I promise is a promise. Andy, that's not fair. Oh, don't be like that. I'll make you a priority. Just not the only. It's not enough. Why can't you just kill her parents why does she want the parents dead so bad it's like how oh, young is she why does she want them dead already no wonder well, i was gonna say no wonder the, the mom left but like if my child wanted to kill me constantly I, I don't know what i would do if i'm honest hold on that's not what she said back then good for your cute little sister i know you want to oh okay we're thinking of present ashley okay i see kill them to solve all your problems kill them to feel something kill them for food kill them to avoid the things i'll do to you if you don't what are those things? What is that supposed to mean? Look, he's awake. Good morning. Were you just whispering on my ear this entire time? Or night. It's still nighttime. What do you want, you little creep? To offer mom and dad to the demon. Right now? Right now, while they're asleep, we'll set the ritual up and do it. I've given you plenty enough time to figure this out, did you haven't? So now we're doing it my way. Okay, really? That's all the convincing it took for you to sleep? Oh my, my efforts were far more effective than I thought. Welcome back, Andy. Why does she feel disappointed about that? <laughs> that's not it. But you have a point that mom might snitch on us. I knew that even before we got out of our apartment. I don't know why i let myself think anything else after talking to her she felt like she actually kind of cared if she really didn't care at all she wouldn't even have let him stay it's because at your core you're just a soft gooey marshmallow if it weren't for me all kinds of foul women would have gobbled you up already jump it grossed me out <laughs> what are you doing a demonstration i can't god you're so fucking dumb i should Oh my god, mom, don't look. Andrew, are you still awake? Y yeah, why are you still up? I thought you had work tomorrow. I wanted to talk to you without Ashley. It's not really a good time right now. Look, I know it's late, but this is important. I've been thinking things over and I believe I owe you an explanation. Oh my god, Ashley's not gonna keep her mouth shut. I just know it. That's all right, I don't really need to know. I'm really tired. Andrew, I understand if you're angry, but at least listen. I feel like she could, she could see Ashley from there, no? The whole situation with Ashley was... Oh, gone, mom. Don't mind little old me. This looks very bad. For the love of God, this had better not be what it looks like. <laughs> Whatever. How does this look to you? I wanted the explanation. Like, bro, I was waiting for it. But where'd you get... What's it looking like now, mom? Uh, Ashley, come on. You know that there aren't any bullets left in the gun? Then just say it. Like, just say, like, mom, there's no bullets on that gun. But your mom shoot doesn't. Ashley, put that away. There's no need for this. Be quiet and start walking. We're going to the basement. And don't get any funny ideas because I will shoot. Andrew, go get a rope or something. I'm tying this bitch up. And don't kill dad. You did not need to be told that. <sighs> Andrew, you're such a bitch. I'm sorry. She's got you up to the toes. Like, be a man. What are we supposed to do? Look for rope? Sorry, mom. You tried your mom up using Christmas lights. So this is what your life has come to. What about that? Also, I think you need more than a string of lights to hold a grown man in place. Well, maybe it'd be enough to hold you, but if I need your input, I'll ask for it, okay? Um, why can't we use to tie that up? Not the mop. Was there something in the... Are we gonna use their sex toys? That wouldn't be a bad idea. There's some rope in the closet along with other equipment. I wonder if this is fine. Now you see you untangle the rope from everything else. Ah, shit. Nice one, Butterfingers. Son? What on earth are you doing? I'm sorry, I uh, needed to uh, 
There's absolutely no good explanation as to why you're rummaging for their sex toys. And the truth, I want to tie mom up. Doesn't sound any better. I want to fuck myself. Oh yeah, that'll do. Where's your mother? They want to get something from the basement. Actually, I think she could use some help. Confuse your father goes to check up on your mother. A rope. Make sure you hang yourself with it. Okay. I don't like where this is going. Honey, is everything all right? You take out your cleaver. Bro, I want the explanation from your parents. At least ask first. I want to know what's going on. Where did that go? Oh, what is going on? You're gonna stab him? Oh, Andrew, weren't you supposed to be masturbating? <laughs> Oh, sorry, that, that was funny. I know this is a tense situation, but God, that was great. Anyway, just walk down. It's low and steady. You tie your father up with a rope. You can't... Fuck. I wasn't expecting that line, okay? You can't help but notice some old rope burns on his wrist. Better not to dwell on it, as you'd rather not visualize how they came to be. All right, good. And do you remember how to perform the re... Hold up. Mom, what's the pin for your credit card? Is that what this is about? Money? You got this far just for a quick buck? What's the pin and what's the card itself? It's in my purse. It tells you the pin and you scribble it down on a note. Okay, then I'm gonna go and try this now. Actually, you stay here and don't do anything. That depends on them. If you gave me the wrong pin and you end them, then what? Again, it depends on if they behave or not. <sighs> All right, I'll be quick. I don't do anything dumb, Ashley. Also, I feel like there was no need for any of this. Whoa! What are you doing here? Get back downstairs. They're not gonna try anything. It only takes one of them to start screaming for this whole thing to blow up in their faces. It's amazing how cooperative a person is with a gun pointed at them. Yeah, so go point it. It'll be right back. It's just... Come on, out with it. I need to get going. You're with me on this, right? Sacrificing them? Didn't I already say so? I feel like he still he still has his doubts. Well, you have this habit of flip-flopping. Like, fuck. <laughs> Look, just trust me, Ashley. We're doing this. <laughs> You're the best. Come back soon. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you in a bit. Oh my god. Oh, can can she? Her titties are too distracting for Andrew, I guess. Well, Andrew is busy picking up the money. You just have to set up the ritual. Or at least what you remember of it. Let's see. I think it's it involved blood candles and cannibalism. No. Runes, candles, and blood. Yes. Music, runes, and the book. Oh, it's music, runes, and the book. Oh, there was that song that Clip just kept playing. I hope that wasn't too important since I don't have that here. I'm pretty sure it was important. There were also those runes on the floor and the book. No, wait. The book was just the instructions. It wasn't even for the ritual itself. We should have the book with you right now. Oh. So it, it was the second option? Oopsie. Oh, whatever. I can start with the runes. First things first, I need some blood to draw with. Just cut your hand. You've done that before. Hello, take the knife. Oh, that's not the knife. There you go. Are you gonna get blood from your mom? Why not just cut yourself? I cut that. You're gonna take it, right? Alright, so what's going to happen? I'm going to cut one of you to draw some blood. If you scream, I'll blow both of your brains out. How about that? Just take the money and go. What do you need our blood for? Also, oh, now you care what I'm about? Don't you fucking act like I haven't tried with you, Ashley. You're the one who shot me out. But even then, I've stuck my neck out for you all this time. Oh, like that time when you left me to star for three months? Was that you looking out for me? Oh, gee, thanks. I feel like I can't tell if the mom knew what was happening or if the mom actually thought they were getting taken care of. You know, got the well what i'm talking about i never told anyone what you two little psychos did to that girl <laughs> what are you on about take your meds i know you and andrew did something to the classmate of yours who went missing i knew it the second she was found dead near that warehouse you used to play at <laughs> whatever i didn't love you could have rated myself of you right there and then but the mom did though i feel like the mom get i don't want to sacrifice where's andrew and all this i just should be cute in this shit when it comes to being a mother i am a fucking saint ashley a saint Ah, yes, the patron saint of covering one's own ass. Do you have any idea what they would have done to you if they found out? Now, the new paragons of beauty, let's see whose blood I should use. Which one do you cut? I'll cut father. Give your father sounds a good slice. A good slice? Hey! Which part of no screaming escapes you? Mother would like to gush her eyes out and feed them to you. I I hope they don't redeem Ashley at this point. I just so the only the only redeemable character for me now is Andrew. Just because I would I like to think that he's being manipulated. It brings your heart great delight. Alright, let's see here. Yeah, something like that. Now let's finish drawing this masterpiece. Yeah, yeah, let's go a little circle here. That's a big circle, actually. Like that, and like that, and like that, and like that. Tukima, I drew a circle. Oh, why, do I, why did I give an Italian accent? Did you even know what a circle is? Because it's not that. You know what? Your mom's your mom's onto something that looks like an oval. The nerve of you, you never... No, no, don't let her get a race out of you now. Candles, candles, candles. Okay, candles are probably in the bedroom. What is Andrew? What's Andrew up to? I forget. Oh, is he outside? Candles in the sex toy cabinet? No? Do have candles in your bedroom? I thought they were kinky. That'd be funny for like, yeah, we gotta do the ritual. And they just don't have candles in their house. Like uh, here? Oh, nice. Candle, 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 candle. All right, that's all the candles I had. Welcome back. I was waiting for him to talk and I was like, what, 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 what's happening? And you give us a hi. You have a draw limit on your card? I do? You do. I could only get a couple hundred before it locked me out. 
suck it, bitch. I think it's the fair runs in the family. That I kind of get where Ashley comes from. Actually, no, she's just a psychopath. Yeah, well, guess what? Now we all get to witness the wonders of a customer service. Get up, you have a call to make. Ashley, take her to the phone. Enjoy your gun. All right, come, mommy. Off we go. We're gonna talk to the bank. Oh, she doesn't know that gun doesn't have bullets, right? She could just tell the operator, like, help! You're in luck, as the customer service line has just opened for the day. But somehow, there's already a million hour wait. So guess what? You wait. Please hold, our representative will be with you as soon as possible. Please hold, our representative will be with you as soon as possible. Of like quarter millennia later, mother gets a hold of someone. I'm sorry, let me just confirm. You said you want me to remove the drum li limit altogether? That is what I said, yes. Wow, that's crazy. What if your cat's get car gets stolen? Indeed. I'm not at all being held at gunpoint here. <laughs> She really tried. Honestly, she tried. That, that's on the that's on the guy. There we go. You're gold. Is there anything else I could help you with? Apparently not. Alright then. Have a nice day, Miss Graves. Now it's back into the basement with you. And don't think for a second I didn't see the stunt you were trying to pull there. It was just small talk. Right, mom. Right. For sure. Very smooth. Uh, and here's mom again. The car should be free now. I like your mother, whom aren't you quickly ties back up. I was looking at what you've set up here. And let's just say it's not quite there, is it? Yeah, I don't remember what their little runes looked like anymore. It was just a star. But your memory is such shit. So I already figured as much. Let's catch them out for you. But then you just draw their runes themselves. There's blood right there. Because you might have had a good reason for not drawing them yet. Alright, fair. Whatever. Give me the card. I'll go pick up the rest of the money. I really don't like the idea of you wandering up around all by yourself at this hour. It's already morning though. Well, yeah, but I mean, still. So hand me the card that I... Actually, can I really leave Andrew alone with mom and dad? Who knows what they'll say to him and he's wishy-washy enough as it is. Ashley? I don't know if you can trust Andrew enough to leave him alone with your parents. Trust him? Fuck that. Save game. I'm saving the game. And I'm trusting him because I want the parents to convince him to not do this. So I... As Ashley, I don't trust him, but I want to believe in him as the player. It's more cleric. <laughs> Just give me the card that go get the money. Please be careful. Aren't I always? When are you ever? <laughs> See you later. You'll be fine. You won't turn on me as long as I have the trinket. Won't he though? Won't he? I think he doesn't even believe in the trinket. There's nothing you can do about the missing audio. But at least you can draw the missing runes. Now where did Ashley get all this blood? From that. Hey papa. Is she making you do this? No. Are you going to kill us? Come on. Of course not. Yes you are. Technically anyway. Oh. The demon's going to kill them. And what is all this witchcraft looking nonsense? Start her to scare you a little. We'll leave you alone after that. How about it? Try to say whether she believes you or not. Can you like tell me what you were going to say earlier? Mom. There was something I tried to talk to you about earlier. Thank you. She listened to me. I don't really care honestly. About Ashley. I, I do care. Me, Maori, I do care. What is it? I wanted to apologize to you. For always making you look after her. That was wrong of me. It's fine. Can you imagine what it was like for me back then? When I was your age, I was already stuck with a seven and a five year old to care for. Think you'd have cared better than me? I wouldn't know. It's an excuse, mind you. It's an explanation. I never hated you. I was just a fuck up. Don't say that, honey. We did fine. Did you though? Did you? <sighs> so fine. Look where we are right now. Anyway, you were such an easy child. I thought it would be just fine having another. I wasn't cutting kind of Ashley to be so psychopathic. That's like gatekeep girl boss. I'm sorry I made you raise her. I thought you were getting along, so I didn't want to see what was happening. And for that, I apologize. It's all my fault. I apologize. Well, it is what it is. It doesn't have to be. I think we're gonna still sort this out. Is that right? If it's money you need, I can help you get a job. They're hiring at your company, aren't they, love? That's right. If I put in a good word for you, you're as good as hired. Fuck, the mom. The parents actually do care. I don't want to kill them. If we're one, though, they get a lot of difficult customers there. But I know you can handle it. Should be easy after handling Ashley all this time. I <laughs> get it, yeah. For sure. What do you say? Friends are offering you an olive branch. Accept, decline, save game. I want to accept. I'm gonna accept. <sighs> I want to say yes. I wish I could say yes to that, honestly. But I can't. I'm stuck. So fucking stuck, you don't even know. Is it the death certificates? I noticed you had moved them. There must have been some ugly mix up. We can clear that up. There's a lot more to it than that. Nothing has happened that can be fixed, Andrew. And I'm not angry. I know you didn't want to do this. I mean, he did kill four people. If you count Nina. All you have to do is convince Ashley to give you the gun and we can put this behind us. You should just say, like, the gun doesn't even have bullets. <laughs> Fuck this. I need to light the candles. Bro, you were doing so good, Andrew. Can you talk to mom again? That doesn't have anything to say. It's always been like that. Just going along with your mother's whims. It is then that you're just like him. God damn it. I see. This is your mama gaslight gatekeep girl boss. We can't make this work. We're gonna be just fine. All I actually need to do is stop being such an unrelenting. Yeah. We'll be fine. We're going to be fine. Aren't you? You get the gun from her, right? Um, bye. Wait, the retail is ready. I can't even get a proper hello? Can you just summon the damn thing? I feel like we can't without the music, no? What's wrong? I feel like last time, the music was what summoned them. Everything. We just get to it, goddammit. Sheesh. Yeah, Ashley. Oh, is that the demon? Ahem. <laughs> hello, hello, Mr. and Mrs. Demon. I'm sorry I don't have the mood music, but I have the other stuff you asked for. There's no answer. If I sing something, please don't. 
Mercifully, the demon shows up to spare everyone from the secondhand embarrassment. <laughs> oh, okay. Guess we didn't need the music. Uh -huh. What the fuck is that? I offered those two. The scream is short lived as the demon steals their souls. What? Just like that? Oh, I wonder if, if I should feel something. Well, anyway, so the music wasn't needed to summon you after all? What I have to play less time then? The sequence hard to find. Tell me it's easy to follow. Oh, I see. I'll bring you a play. Tell me it's now. It's easy to find. Speaking of which, a deal's a deal. Charge it up, please. The chinker works again. Thank you. What? Hello? This is the brother. Yep, the one and only. He may not be very useful, nor is he particularly loyal, but but nothing actually. Honestly, I don't even know why I keep him around. I see. Farewell, Tassel. Do you have another soul to offer? Right, thank you. Bye bye. They could have killed someone else. I insist. Then Titty leaves. I should have just gone to that cult party and sacrificed all the cultists. I don't know why I kept you around either. I guess you're just stuck with me, aren't you? Just stuck you don't even fucking know. Ah, a knife stopper. And you've misunderstood a mental situation. Sure you did. For sure. Also, now she's mad at me and we killed them anyway. Ashley. It's a matter now. Ashley, I picked you. I don't want to talk. Come on. I don't care. What are we going to do about the bodies? I mean, you can kind of just leave them there. Ashley, I... The bodies and you focus. Fight the bodies. Aw. Uh, well, on one hand, we didn't kill them and the other them having gone missing will definitely be better for us maybe they just fucked off somewhere who knows you know uh, if there's a murder investigation right so let's make them disappear we can start by chopping them up can we just dump them in the ocean or something no actually we're going to make them vanish not wash up ashore somewhere you should have just asked the demon uh, how to go about this we can leave a mess behind oh there's a drain right there all ah, right you are I'm just untying the parents with stops. But wait, what? What is it? Is that breathing? We take a look and sure enough, his chest is moving ever so slightly. So they only got mom? Ah, he's mom too. They both survived? Huh? So did we sell them the soul? He didn't have to kill them to take the soul? I don't know. We tried various things, but nothing gets a response from the parents. Yet their hearts still beat. Their lungs draw in air. Oh god, what is this? If you're losing your soul, it just turns you into a vegetable? That can be. The cultists died and the warden too. Well, I mean, did you actually check? I feel like we did check. I sure didn't. I just went to town and started chopping. I feel like we did check. No, no, no. Please tell me he wasn't still alive when we ate him. <laughs> I feel like they were that though. What the fuck is so funny about this? Come on now, I'm sure he died pretty quickly from blood loss. And you're ripping his head off must have done the trick. It'll be the same with these two. Get to cutting. I I feel like there was a dialogue of us checking them for breathing, no? No, that's this changes everything, doesn't it? You want to leave them like this? They're not getting their souls back. But if you want to leave them to starve, I'm all for it. Maybe a little poetic. I'm sure you'd like that. Oh, I don't know. I need to think. Oh come on! Where are you going? No, Andrew, look, look here for a sec. What? A no way she just did that. Like, what was even the point on doing all that? She just likes it at this point. You get your father too. What are you doing? There. All dead. Now tell me again how I always make you do all the dairy work. I don't think he wanted you to do that. He'll bitch and moan. Really, he'll bitch and moan as per usual. He did not miss that sigh of relief. Anyway, you dug your parents soulless and lifeless. Buddy, sober to the shower. All right, I'll start cutting you. Get the blood into the drain with the shower head. Gotcha. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, stop. Stop. It's flooding. Huh? Oh, what the hell? Gross. Oh, great. The drain is clogged up. I mean, they did say they were doing renovations. And the lead is screwed shot into a screwdriver. Just keep chopping the bodies. I'll get you something to cut the drain with. And there was a box of screwdrivers. Oh, here. There you go. How do you unclog this thing anyway? So we unscrew the lid, we can put down some baking soda vinegar to the drain. Does that actually work? Is there baking soda here? Is the baking soda upstairs? I did choose to accept the deal, right? Like when mom was asking me. I thought maybe we would have, wouldn't have to kill them if I did that. Here you go. Andrew unscrews the drain lid. Bring some vinegar first, then baking soda. It's vinegar first. Wrong, the baking soda goes first. Ah. Hey, I'm not I'm not a pro, okay? Who gives a shit? You put down a generous amount of baking soda, then toss it with vinegar. The soda start bubbling up. The clock doesn't listen up one bit. Well, we tried. I'll get you some rubber gloves. I'm the one who's gonna have to get in there. But of course, I'm but a dainty little lady who has blood on her hands. You can't expect me to do a man's job. Fine, just get me the gloves. Oh. Here you go. Here you go. Have fun. And then Andrew the rubber gloves. He digs out God knows what out the drain. A seemingly never ending amount of God knows what. Oh god, that is disgusting. <laughs> I'm gonna gag. They're not helping. Fuck, that is gross, Andy. Andy doesn't respond anything to that. <laughs> good, good. Looks like he's finally coming around. Though there being no reaction at all is a little worrisome. Drain works. Let's get this over with. He's so, like, demoralized. He's desensitized. When your brothers remember your parents. And disembowel them. And decapitate them. What fun! Yeah, so fun. I'm just going through it right now. And she's just horny. Having regrets? Would I be like to say so if I did? I mean, not like he had a choice. Because she did everything. <laughs> Didn't even give him a chance. Of course, you can tell me anything. Anything I want used against me anyway. <laughs> 
I love you, ending. I love you, I love you, I love you. I feel like she's gonna die at the end of this. I'm sorry for lashing out earlier. I forgot how hard this is for you. I'm fine. No, you're not. Talk to me. <laughs> is he gonna kiss her? Does this feel romantic to you? Your first kiss surrounded by your bad, dismembered parents? I've got nothing to say to you. And you continue butchering your parents. And for the first time in it forever, you have no idea what he's thinking. <laughs> Me neither. I have no clue what's going on right now. <laughs> I'm so lost. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. So, what's the plan for all this? We are to dispose of it all. Yeah, yeah, but how? We use whatever means available in the house. Let's look around and see what we can do. Um, okay. A torso. But all the limbs. That is a lot of limbs. Go ahead. How are you carrying all this? <laughs> Torso and stuff for my dad. Was it, were they like together? Did you separate it in like pieces? So it goes to the limbs, he goes to the organs. Kinda nice of you. Burning on the thing. Oh, can we burn the bodies here? It'll be like cremation. There's no way the temperature of this thing gets high enough. Boo watch. But it's just above the fireplace. And your rose's eyes will light the fire for you. Oh, would you look at that? Nothing is happening. Even a minute, goddamn. This isn't working. It makes me kinda hungry though. So uh, let's lift this beef for now. You're gonna eat it? I mean, no, this bones will remain. I thought about it for a second. Also, this basement probably smells like ass now. You cut the limbs into chopped meat. Got chopped meat. You skin the heads. Got face, X2. Got a school, X2. What do I do with the faces? Make masks out of them? I don't know, throw them in the fireplace? And what about the skulls? Well, the skulls we can deal with later, along with all the other bones. Are we actually cooking them? Oh, why no? Let's turn some of the meat into soup. Bring some vegetables, maybe spices, and then throw the rest away as scraps. What do you mean the rest? What do you think? I'm eating some what you want bro the soup you made earlier and what were the ingredients again the soup is right there read it shame on me for thinking you'd be helpful let's meat onions potatoes and carrots chop everything up and throw them into the pot so are we just straight up becoming cannibals now you know what i don't even know why i try to give them an opportunity to be better <laughs> there we go thank you i need you memorize that you fucking nerd you're welcome all right let's get the carrot and the potatoes and all that what's a big garden by the way and here you go Look at that, much better than your soup. Now, was there anything else we still needed to deal with? I don't know, really. Was there? Put your faces into the fire. Nice. Where do we put the skulls? We just bury them? The trash? While well, your bad must belong in the trash, it isn't a good idea to dunk them in here as they are. Maybe the bodies look less conspicuous. I see. Should we cover them on something? Is it Halloween when you put the skulls like decoration? Also, wouldn't that smell like a lot? Don't that bodies when you burn them have like a very particular smell? I feel like I've heard that somewhere. And that's why. Oh, you put your organs in the blender and blend away. There are savings of crimson smoothie merch. All of which you put on the kitchen sink. How's that? Good as gone. Great, now deal with the rest of the body parts. The support from you today is just overwhelming, huh? Okay, I didn't know that's what we're gonna do, if I'm honest. I completely missed that. The soup's still brewing. You think the soup is ready yet? Oh, is it? Dinner's ready! I'm eating too? I mean, you, you don't have to. <laughs> of course, it's the last hearty home-cooked meal for a waffle. You're really not gonna have any? I honestly don't see the point. If you're hungry, there's other food available. Hmm, but don't you want to feel powerful? <laughs> I can't do it anymore. She's just she's just crazy, y'all. She's just um, tired of acting like she isn't. I'm not even acting like she isn't. I've been giving her shit this whole time, so. Um, no, I don't want to feel powerful. Explain. Well, um, let me think. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, so. Humans are at the tube of the food chain, right? And then when I come and eat the humans, I'm on top of that. That's not really how that works, but whatever. Then is this your diet now? You sacrifice people and eat them for kicks? Ah, oh, you're not getting it. Let me try explaining again. I don't need to get it. I just need to know what if this is going to be a thing. I'm the one who's gonna have to sort it out. It's like if I eat someone, I'm eating their entire life so far. Like everything they've known and felt, I'm consuming all of that. And if I could turn that into some sort of energy, I'd be all powerful. Does this power leave as you shit the corpses out? <laughs> no, no, it's just like absorbing nutrients. I got the, I got to keep the energy. You say so. That's a dumbass excuse to be a cannibal. Even if I could magically absorb someone else's life, what would I do with that? I've not decided at all to be your mother or father in any capacity. Oh, those two I'm gonna shit out and flush down the toilet. <laughs> yeah, really? You, you think that was funny? That, that, that's that's why I got you, Andy? Ah, there, finally! <laughs> Nothing. Well, anyway, I think we've dealt with the flesh to the best of our abilities, but we still need to do something about the bones. Well, first of all, I need to ditch the leftover soup. While you do that, I'll clean the kitchen. Don't worry too much about someone seeing you throw away the soup. As long as you don't look nervous, I don't think about anything of it anyway. You talk to yourself right now? Ah, oh, right. What was I thinking? You wouldn't worry even if I told you to. Oh, true. You should find to just chuck this into a trash bin outside, right? Not a human soup. I mean, yeah, I feel like no one could tell it apart, right? We away the leftover human soup. Alright, Andrew, what's up? I wanna know what he's thinking right now. I need to figure out what to do with all the bones. Now I'll just collect them all before Ashley loses track of them. Or plastic bags. Where are the bones? 
Oh, that kind of worked. I just wanted to check what the bones remain. You put them in one of the plastic bags. Doesn't she have the skulls too? I mean, I feel like if you throw away the bones in a plastic bag, people could just think it's like another type of bone, right? Where did it actually go? Oh, there she is. So what do we do about these skulls? Damn, mom and dad really look. I've seen better days. I think of throwing those into the ocean along with the rest of the bones. So much for making them disappear, huh? What do we do all this uh, other crap for? But you, as long as the teeth are removed, it should be fine. All right, so they don't recognize them or whatever. It's on what logic? The uh, Denko records, I guess. You guess? How nice. I feel like they can all know who they are, no? Forgive me, oh beloved, but I have never gotten rid of a body before. You guys have. You buried that girl, remember? I'm hoping one can't identify someone based on their bones alone. The bones float though, aren't they? Kind of like sticks? Yeah, that's a point. I'll find something to weigh them down just in case. Remove one of your parents' teeth using the screwdriver. Only one? Oh, got a bunch of teeth. What do you do with the teeth now though? Something to make them sink, huh? Like a rock? So are we close to the ocean? Like why do we keep talking about the ocean? Do, do our parents live really close to it? I'm guessing, right? Try them with the sex toys. Damn it. I really thought... Just a stone from outside, like this. Some rocks, you place them in one of the plastic bags. This guy, like, I'm sorry, but they make it seem like it's just a little plastic bag, but like, imagine it's two adult bodies and a bunch of rocks. That shit weighs a shit ton. Like, he, he bro is carrying that with his life. His back's about to break. So we lose the teeth, pack the bones with some rocks, and call it a day, got it. So aren't we done? Didn't I just do that? Or do I need more rocks? Or am I missing bones? I feel like I'm not. Do we have a car? Is that our car? <laughs> Ashley, I don't know what to do. Don't I? I feel like I picked up all the bones and the rocks. Any more rocks? You flush the teeth down the toilet. It takes a few tries for them all to flush. There, all gone. Wish you could do this to all of your problems. Oh, I see. I had to get rid of the teeth. That makes sense, huh? Finally, all that remains now is cleaning up the basement. Uh, do we have to? Yes, obviously. Why? We'll have to sacrifice someone again later anyway. Huh? What would it have to be here? We're going to leave here, right? We just have to keep paying our parents' rent or whatever. No, they're going to know they're missing. I wish we could, but eventually someone's going to go, Hey, Mrs. Grace hasn't shown up to work in a while. So they get fired. So what? They're definitely going to check on them. I thought either of their bosses will care enough to file a missing person's report. There's also the fact that they apparently mingled with the people here. The neighbors will notice them gone despite their names still being on the door we can tell some lie say we're a house watching for our parents and so on listen not everyone gives serious shits like you they have co-workers friends other families beside us but a bunch of whores why weren't they happy with just each other's they didn't play they fucked any of them irrelevant it's all the same anyway they can't all go having the hair from those two in a while oh well someone's gonna come looking with the authorities and who will they find here their children who didn't report their parents missing and also are supposed to be dead. <laughs> Officer asks, how the fuck aren't you dead anyway? If you don't want to stay here, just say so. It's not that I don't want to, I just don't think we can. Well, can we at least use their IDs? We can be the new and improved Mr. and Mrs. Graves. We'd run into the same problem as with our own IDs. Once the authorities start looking for them, they'll see what we've been up to these stairs. Uh... Sorry, Ashley, I wish it was that easy. Whatever, I'll clean the basement then. Again, this game just loves to make me clean. Oh, damn it, I really thought we were in the clear after all this. <sighs> Whatever, I'm gonna need a mop. Oh, the best mop ever. What an excellent mop. <laughs> Hell yeah. The Omega amazing, crazy, sickening, stunning mop that this game has been talking about. Did I put the candles back in the box too? Kinda of weird to just leave a bunch of candles just randomly there. I don't know candles in the box. Got it. I'm done, Andy. Andrew, Andy, I don't know what we're calling you now. All done. Are we ready to go? I think so. There's no way to tell if we missed something still. Other than maybe see if you have a dream where we are caught, I guess. I offered two souls, so it stands to reason I have at least two visions to come. How about I take a nap and see if a disaster await us? Please do. Alright, time to see into the future. So what are the conditions to get a vision? I seen what did the demon say about it exactly? Hell, if I remember. You don't? <sighs> you possibly give any less of a fuck? That'd be great. Oh, do forgive me, your highness. It's been a week or two. Has it been a week? And up yours. You didn't even remember a parent's address. Which is, of course, just as important as this. But it has been a week? I thought it, I thought it was the next day. Look, it just said that I need to hold until it to have clairvoyant dreams. That's it. It was in my pocket last time when it happened. And could I hold it this time? Nope. Oh, come on. Even if you'd have a vision, you'd just freak out and overthink it. Your dumbass can barely understand what's happening in the present, much less in the future. If anybody should be deciphering what these dreams are about, it should be me. Screw you. Now, I'm definitely not letting you have it. Oh, just fine. That wasn't called for. You need to get in my trinket. Fine, whatever. I have an awful night and terrible dreams. And you fuck off somewhere and you go to sleep nice can't wait to see well this looks familiar ish is the demon summoning me again it did say it would 
Mr. Demon. Someone is at the door. Maybe I shouldn't stay here. Are you stupid? Get out of here. Oh, sorry. I, I was just curious, honestly. I kind of want to see what, what's going to come out of there. Of this step one. Oh, oh, oh. I, I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to know because I'm not fast enough at this. Okay, there you go. But I need more... Oh, never mind. I see them. <laughs> oh, boy. I didn't know. What, why is this a horror game all of a sudden? Um... Chaputo, so, someone lives nearby, then again, demons can teleport. But then again, do demons need fireworks? Pressing questions right there, right there. But let us not forget, you're being pursued. Okay. What an axe. Chop, chop, chop. Just wood. Um, how am I supposed to get out of here? Chop the door? Like, the axe is going to help you any. God knows what's on its way. Thank God that door is keeping that guy locked in. Road sign gets the axe. Okay. This should work, right? I'm out. I shouldn't leave the path open for your pursuer. Throw that thing. Throw it. Throw it. It wrote sent down the endless void. I wanted to see what it was, though. Let me get some flowers, because we know flowers are important. Get this, I'm guessing. And then go here. Oh. Take it back. Go here. We'll take it back. We'll take these flowers. Go here. We'll take these flowers. 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 Oh, we need that key. I see. Here. That. Oh. So the demon's coming again, and I don't know from where. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay. The key. And open up. Well, this looks like a maze. Tiny chick gets the axe. I'm not sure we're trying to go. Oh, the key. Okay. Can't go there. Wait, should I just... <laughs> Oops. Okay, that makes sense, huh? Hi, Mr. Demon. Our soul. Is this all the souls we've given him? What are you doing here? What are these things? Souls. <laughs> They look a little cute. Tasty. I said cute. Not even the demon likes us. Why is this one black? Why is this one a different color? Our tower soul to be didn't hatch. Oh, so my soul looks like this too? Yours is much darker. Oh, damn. These two seem to fancy one another. Is this mom and dad? Hello. So is this a dream or am I really here? Both. Oh. Huh? I am interrupting your dream. Oh, so this is a dream, but you're really here. No, this is what a vision of me. Uh, I don't get it. What am I supposed to do? What do you want? Nothing. Not right now. You summoned me for no reason? They're using my talisman again and I'm seeing what for house meeting is coincidental what the hell you know welcome to zoom in on my dreams the demon says nothing but it won't leave either what a creep you're just gonna do whatever you want huh there's no reply well i should get back to having my nightmare vision then do you know what's chasing me anyway we shall see <sighs> i'm gonna die at the end of this vision aren't i we shall see helpful farewell tarsal i will summon you soon well that was a lot of nothing the demon is in a chatty mood what an achievement for that well i've got a vision to watch bye was i not to like, was it not like the po like that? Was that a secret? Was I not supposed to find that? So that's pretty obvious to me. Oh, so we're going to the vision. <laughs> it's you, it's you. Is Andy gonna kill me? No, wait. Something isn't. Um, I don't suppose we could talk things out. There, truce. Come on, Andy. Play nice with your sister. Is he gonna try to kill me? Tag. I'm it. We should run. In three, two, one. Oh, 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 Wait, no, it's not my fault. This episode is titled... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Andy and Lillian. No, aren't you wait? And the final finale, finally. Oh, I'm sorry, okay? I'll be better. Let's just leave and forget about all of this. Everything will be just fine. I'll behave, I promise. You've already shown me that's not true. I'm not falling for this again. No, 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 no. Wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Andrew. I'm sorry. I'm so tired of your stories. They don't mean shit. Not gonna lie. I didn't think Andrew will have the balls. I didn't think he would he would actually do it. I I wonder if the demon is just fucking with her. Shit, shit, no, 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 no. What did I do to piss him off like that? Kill their parents? What? Why would Andy ever? No, he would never. Not my Andy. No, I suppose he might. Oh, right. In chapter one, he almost killed her too. Or Andrew might anyway. It seemed less, less, and less. Maybe because you've made him murder like fucking countless people and made him eat human meat like twice. Come on, Andrew Defender. Not really, but... I kind of hate them both. I'm gonna lie. <laughs> Everything okay with you? Uh, uh. I've, I guess I had a nightmare. That would make sense why he didn't want her to sleep with the talisman, huh? A vision? No. God is move, Ashley. He won't suspect the thing. <laughs> no, no. It was just, it was just fake nonsense. Okay. Hey, Andy. Please be Andy. Please be Andy. Please be Andy. Please. Uh, what is it? Does he have multiple personalities? Like, what's up? Oh, thank fuck. Nothing. Nothing. Never mind. I just love you so much. Thanks. This is what a ship reply as usual. Would it kill you to say it back to me every once in a while? You keep calling me by some other guy's name. What do you expect? Okay, so he does not have multiple personalities. Come on, then. Our parents won't jump into the ocean by themselves. What are you gonna do, Ashley? Kill or be killed? I guess you could just go away, huh? Not really kill or be killed. Doesn't help that the, the dream didn't tell us, like, when we're dying. Like, where? It was just kind of like a random hallway. Oh. 
Picking up the skulls. <laughs> Whoops. Are you picking them up or what? Hey now, I wasn't the one who packed them in this flimsy bag. I said pick them up, you dumb bitch. What did you just call me? Now, Ashley. All right, all right. Hey, you're also being kind of an asshole. I, can't, I don't think I like any of you. I don't like any character in this game. Thank God no one is here at this hour. I keep, keep going back and forth if I like someone or not. This game, man, this game's crazy. Room, room. Okay, so don't stray too far into the light. Just in case someone goes pass by. Maybe here? You drops it back with the bones and rocks into the ocean. What about the skulls, since they're no longer in a bag? Whatever, chuck them, if you say so. Well then, my congratulations for your loss. Very clever. Is this the whole woman we're getting killed? This kind of looks like it. What is it? Nothing so. What do we do now? Whatever you want. Oh, well, this is new. How come? We'll end up doing whatever you want anyway, so why even ask me? I'm the true. You kind of spit him. Are you, uh, mad at me? Nah. What do you want me to do, Ashley? I want to do what you want to do. Wanna turn ourselves in then? Oh, not that! What the hell? Too much for my opinion. Now that I was serious. You're totally mad at me, Andy. Why? Because he keeps- You keep calling him the name that he doesn't want to be called for, for- Like, for instance, like- Keep your compassion, Mori. Remember when you promised you wouldn't call me that anymore? No, nope, but I remember half a minute ago when you said we do what I want. You're really going to treat me this way after I left just done for you. So you're mad at me. I fucking knew it. You're just asking to be killed, girl. Like, come on. I asked you for one thing, Ashley. One. Not a big thing with you. Not even a difficult one. Yeah, I'm mad. But so what? It's not as if you're going to do anything about it. Just pick the next stupid thing you want to do and let's go. You were fine with me calling you Andy back at the house yesterday? I had to be, didn't I? You knew I couldn't afford to start a fight with you then. But you started pushing for it. You think I didn't pick up on that? Well, there's neither appearances to keep nor corpses to hide now. You want to have another go at it? Well, I need a counter of every time they've gotten this close. What would you want, Andrew? <sighs> I want to lock you in the trunk of the car and drive off this bridge. <laughs> you think I'm kidding? I mean, you just saw him kill you in your sleep. I don't think he's kidding. Ew, I don't want to be in the same grave as mom and dad. Just spare me half the fucking respect they gave you. I will, right after you love me with half the heart I love you with, asshole. Say, how exactly is it irritating me? It's supposed to inspire tenderness. <laughs> it's complicated. I'm a very complex person like that. The hell you are, you're an absolute simpleton. If I'm so simple, how come you can't keep up? I have to be stupid to understand the thoughts of stupid. How are we going to get over yourself? Honestly, I feel like this, all this banter maybe helps them. Put it out. They have a lot of emotions. Maybe later. Meanwhile, you should get in the car. We're out of here. Oh, where are we going? The bottom of the ocean, dumbass, as you already told you. I don't know yet, but I want to leave before the corpus float up or something. Will they float up? I'm not sure. I wonder if we're fine now. I don't think you are. Yeah, it's it's probably fine. You should take that cleaver. End of episode two. <gasps> Wanna save the game? Yes, please. Oh boy, you can continue here once episode 3DK has been updated. Nice. Oh, that was it. Wow, I really enjoyed chapter two. I didn't expect it to be this long. I'm gonna be honest. I really, really, really enjoyed it. I like a lot where the story is going from. I know I gave them a lot of shit <laughs> to both of the characters, but I think the game is really well done, really well written. The characters like, even though I don't like their moral, well, their morals and ethics stand, I am really into their personalities. Their dynamic is really fucking weird. It weirds me out, but individually, they're really interesting, complex characters, I feel like. And that's what keeps me going in this game. I'm really excited to see what the next episode is going to be about. I'm, I'm not sure if the next episode is going to be the final one. I'm going to look into it. But I'll for sure play it on the channel when that comes out. I know there were a few choices in the game that I didn't do. I might stream those later to see if there's if there's an actual meaningful difference. It didn't seem like it because, for example, when I accepted the deal with the parents, like they still died, so I don't I don't see why there will be a big difference. But I'm curious. Let me know what you thought of the game in the comments. That'll be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like to see me again, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. I appreciate you all.